Goblin parties are so much more fun than anything you'll find in Baldur's Gate. Or the hells for that matter. Not that I'm suggesting we stop for a drink, of course. Well met. Most would think us mad for wandering right into the middle of a goblin war clan. I suppose that goes to demonstrate just how desperate we are. Just testing out audio stuff. Test. All right. Mushy mushy. Papu pipa papa papa pepo papi papo pepo papu papu pipo papu papo pe papi papo pe. I'm calling out from Catland. How are you today, my good man? I am doing pretty good. Pretty good, if I do say so myself. Trying to see if I can make the... There we go, vertical. Yeah, much better. Um, uh, I've got a lot of audio things on um, OBS. So... He has a bow? Yeah, that's a channel points. I've added in a few channel point rewards that you can redeem to give Gabo stuff like head pats or a bow. Although for some reason I haven't figured out how to make them overlap. Like for example, if you give Gabo a bow and then immediately right after give Gabo a head pat, it will not give him a head pat until the bow is gone. So, and vice versa as well. Like, you, it, the bow won't happen until the head pot is done. I don't know how to make them overlap. I gotta figure that out sometime. But yeah, uh, let's wait for a few more people to come in and then we can start Baldur's Gate. Any advice for a first time monk player? Um, I don't know. I'm not too experienced for, uh, with monk. Um, bump up dexterity a lot. Uh, bump up wisdom a lot uh, because the best way for you to try out the class is to be alive you know if you're dead then uh, you're not going to be able to test it out Punch stuff, yeah. Use key points sparingly. Yes, key points are like spell slots. You want to use them when you really, really need to. Will you replay when you're done with your bard? I kind of want to see what would happen if a murder hobo embraces the mind flares. Yeah, I'm definitely going to be playing a lot more playthroughs. Whether that's going to be streamed or not, who knows? Who knows? Is Jomega still a thing? Haven't heard anything about it in the last few weeks. Yes. Actually, it's going to be starting again very, very soon. We finally found a player to fill in the player that left. Um, sorry I haven't made any announcement about it. Uh... It's just because it's kind of been up in the air, but I will make an announcement when it starts back up. So I haven't said anything about it ending, so it hasn't ended, but you will hear something when it starts back up. 
I'm gonna make an announcement of like, hey, our hi our hiatus is over. But yeah, let's just get right into it, shall we? Welcome back to Baldur's Gate. Uh, last time we found a goblin camp and we found this true soul who tried to sleep us and presumably kill us. Uh, also, my rapier icon looks like a chicken foot. <laughs> For so, like whenever I was looking at it, I was like, why do I have chicken feet? It's my rapier. Um, also, also, something I'm gonna try out this stream is I'm gonna try out a mod called Party Limit Be Gone. Yes, Baldur's Gate ha already has mods. Although action economy is a true real f problem when it comes to D&D, you know, uh, having a lot of characters trumps having a one strong character. But I also want to see the entire party's story, so I want to bring them all along. Thing is, there's a lot of them, so if I go to Astarian... You again. Yes, yes, me again. <sighs> Sorry. Okay. But I prefer. So what I have to do is I have to make someone leave, and then the mod will activate. Because if you're a full party. Lady of Sorrows, guide us. See. Did you? If you're sure. Whoops. If you're sure. Yeah. Fine. And then, now that she's gone. May the darkness protect you. Eh, join me. All right. And then if I talk to a Starian. You again. Darling. There we go. Lead. And now we have five party members. Look at that. Party limit be gone works in multiplayer? Yes, it does, so I hear. So I've heard. Now, this might be too many characters. Speak. But you know what? I want to see all their stories. It is done. Maybe not Lazel, because Lazel's mean. But look at that. Five, uh, no, six now. And with Gale, that will be seven. My condition is worsening again. Hmm. I need to consume some powerful magic or it may become volatile. Also, how's the audio, by the way, chat? Is uh, too loud, too quiet? Woohoo, Subversary, how's it going? Thank you. Rock Doug 7 for the 25 months. Hmm, give Gale a. Uh, do -do -do -do. Just now, bear with me. Hmm. Alright, I'll give you something. I'll give you. Ooh. On melee hit, inflict attack rolls and saving throws. When the wearer heals a target, it gains. Oh. Oh man, but oh, I like these. Perhaps I'm not conveying the urgency of the situation. It's incredibly, world-shatteringly important you give me a suitable artifact, please. Oh, I can't spare anything at the moment, but you'll get what you need. Just give me time. I need to give you something else. I'm sorry. Ooh. Okay. Okay, I'm sorry, Gail. I'll give you. I'll find you something. Of course. I would hate for you to think me impatient or ungrateful. I shall persevere. For now. Ooh. Oh, you'll have to speak slowly. I'm finding it quite difficult to concentrate. With my condition gnawing at my insides like a teething displacer kitten. Uh, I need you in my party. With pleasure. Lead on. All right, I need to give him something else. I don't want to give him, hold on, let's see. Uh, Karlak, what do you have? You have that special ax. Uh, you don't have anything, you don't have anything. Actually, wait, you do have something. What is this? Dashes, speedy light feet. The gain, three lightning. We'll give him this, there we go. Um, and you can wear normal shoes, I guess. If I could find some normal shoes for you to wear. Let me work my magic. No one stopped me yet. Mm, do I have any normal shoes for you? I wonder what the next move is. Make him eat his hat. His hat's not magical, sadly. Okay. No time to rest. 
Uh, does this need to be in my in my inventory? Probably not because it was it was uh, the other one was in Carlax. Okay, here you go. What's on your mind? Apart from finding me an artifact to that right. is most gratifying to hear. May I? There we go. Speedy light feet. Thank you. Whew. All right. I don't know. The thing is, he's making it so urgent. I don't know what's going to happen if he doesn't eat something, you know? It is a strange experience. Each time anew, I kind of... Lost soul is spelunking through the darkness that is me, only to be sacrificed on the dread altar of the heart. But... This doesn't feel quite right. I mean, it never feels right. But it relieves. This doesn't relieve. Oh. It's okay, buddy. <sighs> mm. Gail, what's happening? The magic isn't having the effect it should have. It's not like the last time. Like a rainstorm that quells a forest fire. It merely drizzles. The embers still sizzle. The fire remains undefeated. I'm not certain what's going on, but nothing good. Please, I need to think. I need to retrace my steps to a glade of calm and think. Oh, Gail, my beloved. Thank you for the artifact. A great deal of trouble it was, too. A great deal of trouble, indeed. Aw, Gail. How can I help? Oh, it makes me sad. The easiest way to pull at my heartstrings is to make a silly character go serious. Hmm. See, I had quite a few dialogue options with Shadow Heart. I'd like some time to talk. May the darkness protect you. Hmm. Something strange happened. That artifact you carry, it seemed to just come to me. I know. I felt it. I suppose you'll want it back. Might not be possible. It's stubborn that way. Prone to lashing out. Keep it for now. We can all help to protect it. I don't like that. I don't like Make that at no all. Make no mistake. When the time comes, when we're cured, the artifact leaves with me. Hmm. I didn't take it. It. I just suddenly had it. You wouldn't have been able to take it. The artifact has a will of its own. It would fight back if it didn't want to be with you. Hmm. Shah's blessings upon you. I want to talk about your Shah worship. I'm sure you do. But please try to understand that it's not something I can just talk about freely. Hmm. Uh. I, I have no problems with Shah worshippers, if that's what concerns you. Five. Five's not bad. Can't use her own uh, blessing against her. Her own bless. Very well. Perhaps there's potential in you. Let's see how you handle this. I am indeed a disciple of Shah. Mistress of the Night and Lady of Loss. I assume you've heard of her? Mm. Remind me. My Lady Shah is the Night Singer. The patron of darkness and loss. Please continue. Most fear the dark, like children. Because in darkness, they see their fears reflected. But Shah teaches us to step beyond fear, beyond loss. In darkness, we do not hide. We act. Can you save scum? You can Pain. save scum, but I'm Hope. trying to do it sparingly. The promise of better days. I accept most of my roles. All of these are heavy cloaks that bend our backs and burden our hearts. We shed those cloaks. Before Shah, we stand gloriously naked. Beyond the vanities of mortals. Hmm.
When you put it like that, it seems strangely comforting. There's comfort, yes. But often there has to be pain beforehand. We tear down the lies the world is drunk on. The institutions they trust, the so-called gods they worship, the lives they cling to. We destroy false idols, topple corrupt organizations, fight heretics wherever they're found. There's often suffering, death even. Many people break before they embrace Shah's truths. Hmm. 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 So it's like anarchy. <laughs> hmm. I won't cast judgment on your beliefs. Curious. Most are afraid of my lady. I think I did well by joining you. Most agreeable company. Hmm. Ah, this sounds like a romance option. Hold on. So there is polyamory in this game, but it's only with characters who are comfortable with polyamory. And my number one right now is Karlak. If she's not okay with it, then I will respect her boundaries and I will stick with her like a monogami. Mono monogamous man I am. But I am interested in Shadowheart a little bit, but not as much as Karlak. Copper for your thoughts. Oh. Hmm. Um. What does that infernal engine do to you? Guy named Gortash. Politician. Inventor. One of these wheeler dealer types who Wait seems minute, to have a finger in every territory. Diesel, 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 diesel. I guess I was naive to think everything he got up to was above board. What did I know? I saw a job. A good job. With people I liked. Doing work I was good at. Sometimes I'm jealous of that girl. Oh, to feel so invincible again. Edited Ward, thank you so much for the raid. Hello, everybody. Welcome. I'm playing Baldur's Gate. Uh, so someone mentioned that Carlac is okay with it, but Shadowheart is not. Then I'll just be sticking with Carlac in that case, um, because Carlac is my girl. Hello, Raiders. Welcome. I, my name is Joe Cat. I make videos and also stream. And today is a special day because today is the first real stream. Last stream was a test stream. The first real stream where, Gabo, if you have 10,000 channel points, you can... Uh, actually, I'm going to knock it down to 9,000. I'm going to be knocking it down every, like, half hour just to find the sweet spot because I'm still figuring out the, the sweet spot for cost where you can spend your cookies to have Gabo say stuff. So, let me edit the cost. I'm gonna drop it down to 9,000. But yeah, you can use Gabo speak to uh, make Gabo say stuff. Or alternatively, make uh, make give him pets or a bow. Uh, they don't overlap, sadly, so you have to wait for one to finish before the, the next one. But if I want my cookies, you can keep them. You don't need to spend them. Booyah. Booyah. <laughs> Booyah, yeah. Hmm. The bow is cute, yeah. Sounds like all we need to do to fix your infernal engine is to find some infernal iron. Let's hope Damon is as good as he seems. Once my engine's handled, I can focus on more important matters. Tadpoles, cults, frosty pints. I like her. Yeah, if, uh... Garlock is a big red peach. <laughs> she is. She's our big red peach. More but yeah, uh, between having to cho choose between Carlac and Shadowheart, I think I'm going to go with Carlac. May the darkness protect you. Mm. Yeah, all these seem like um, 
romance options. Why were you in pain before? The wound on my hand. It never quite heals. And sometimes it causes terrible pain to rip through me. It's my burden, though, from Lady Shah. I can feel her influence somehow. Hmm. Why would Shah subject you to such a thing? Super Kaji fell jealous because Pyro is what I can recall. But even then, it would not be for me to question her will. Lady Shah has her reasons. She's romanceable, so it makes sense. Yeah, but I mean, like, she's the only character so far that I've had, like, the romance, like, check-in options. I have not had that with any other character of, like, how do you feel about me? You know, she's the only one. Hmm. How can you manage living with such a thing? It's less difficult than you might imagine when you can't remember life without it. Pain is sacred to followers of Lady Sha. Pain will give way to loss and then to the peace of her eternal darkness. You can tolerate a great deal of suffering so long as it has meaning. Yeah, she's right. What causes it to hurt you? It's difficult to say. Sometimes I wonder if it's supposed to be guiding me, punishing me, testing me. Perhaps it's none of those. Perhaps it's completely random. I'd like to hope there's more to it than that. Some meaning that Lady Shah will reveal to me when the time is right. Until then, all I can do is endure. And what if there isn't anything? All right. Uh, all right. I don't want to give her the wrong idea that I'm booking it for her, so I will not pursue too many of those options. Well met. Nothing. Astarian. I thought I don't think he had any Ready. options. A hey, scratch. Your boy. Hope you're keeping well, friend. Pet him. Yeah, it talks, because I have, um, Speak With Animals going right now. Because I, uh, I learned Speak With Animals. Uh, where is it? There we go. Uh, no, there we go. Speak With Animals. Yeah. Speak. Hmm. Yep, nothing for you. Okay, so we... We're in the middle of uh also I should I should get a backpack to organize some of this stuff. So, I'm going to pick up this backpack. Can I if I have the ball in my inventory, can I throw the ball for scratch? Hope you're keeping well, friend. Nope. Okay. I want to find another backpack, because I'm going to start organizing stuff, because these backpacks are useful. Uh, pretty sure they have backpacks as well, so you can give me that. There is work to do. And you can give me that. Wait, no. Bewildering Adventurers pack. There we go. Don't touch me. What's in here? Supply pack. Send to camp. Blackets will be done. Open. Send a camp. Ah, excellent choice. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do, right? Send to camp. Oh, action, not reaction. Careful, I mind. Here's another problem with having the party member. There's another reason why I want to bring the party members it's along with me. Done. It's like I have not been equipping them. <laughs> at all so I want to be I want to do that so that I can equip them and stuff dexterity saving throws who's gonna need dexterity oh saving throws um it's maybe shadow heart her dex is okay well let's give it to will so that he can uh, 
dodge those better and turn it off so that you don't look dumb. Have a lot on my mind and well, in it. Camp supply sack. What's in this? Okay. Send these to camp. And let's see, we're gonna make a potion, uh Absolute War Board. Let's give this to uh, everybody else is, uses two-handers. If the wielder bears the Absolute's brand, they gain plus one bonus to saving throws. Well, no one does, but it gives heroism. I'll just uh, just give this to Lazel for now. I just realized the mod works with the interface. I don't know if it's intentional or happy coincidence, but it's neat. Yeah, it's pretty neat. Okay, so uh, let's sort these. Type. And we're going to put... We don't really have a dedicated bow fighter. Maybe Lazel can be that, since I'm going to have Karlak in the front lines. We've got a decent amount of front line fighters. So, uh, Lazel... Oh, but I made you... Hmm. Battlemaster. Ba and I gave her, like, some... Some, like, melee stuff, right? Yeah, a trip attack. Uh, help me out, chat. Uh, if I go to Withers, change class. Will I be able to... Uh, is that where I change my, my party members, like, subclass? Not my subclass. Not my class, because I know it does that, but my party members. Yes? Okay. Talk to him as them. Okay, so I select Lazel. And Withers, Withers, Withers. Where are you, Withers? 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 Is Withers not in here? Is Withers not in this camp? Oh, I guess not. Okay, well, I'll just go to a different camp sometime. Going. Better not be cursed. Behind the How door? Can I go? Oh, he was sneaking here. Is he? Or the other door? I didn't know there was more doors. Interesting. Next mod, if I can find it, is definitely going to be a walk faster mod. Ah, there he is. Okay, Lazel. Lazel's going to be a bow and arrow uh, fighter. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna make her a backline. Ah, another. Thy name has been recorded. I shall be here in thy camp for right. whenever thou hast need of my services. As thou. There we go. Is this a first playthrough and probably modded? Yes, one mod, yes. First playthrough with one mod. Oh, I can make her anything. I could make her a ranger. Hmm. So I legit can just make her anything. Interesting. Monk? Huh. Now I'm going to keep her fighter. Just so it's like mostly... Uh... Like... What she was originally because I, I don't like to stray too far away to what the character was originally maybe for a second playthrough but for now yeah oh I can respec her skills as well okay swap to dex fighter no um I'm pre now correct me if I'm wrong chat bows can use strength right or am I am I wrong? No, they can't. Okay, Dex Fighter it is then. Bows are Dex only. Okay. In that case, what mod do you have downloaded? I have the. Uh, party limit be gone mod that allows you to have as large a party size as up to 12 or 8. I, I don't remember which one. Those are decks only? Okay. Well, then we Thanks are going to. Thanks for letting to... me hold the map. 
Head northwest. Northwest, yes. Of course, Gabo, you are our navigator. Okay, archery lazel. All right, level up. Uh, I like fishies. <laughs> you like fishies. I do like fish as well. Game's a little loud. I might turn it down a bit later. Mm. Battlemaster or champion. Improved critical hit is pretty good. But if I go battlemaster, Spend a superiority die and add it to the resulting attack roll. Basically make her not miss. Grant an ally eight temporary hit points bolstering their resolve. But how far is this? Trip attack. Pushing attack. Menacing attack. 1d8, possibly frighten. Goading attack into attacking you. That could be pretty good. Like if we use this to like, oh, there we go. If I select it, it actually shows the range. Happy Joe, cat love. 60 feet's pretty good. We could make her a support battle master. Hmm. Uh. Happy. Happy, happy, happy. What we can do is we can goading, so that way we're basically imposing disadvantage on a target from far away. Just giving... It's basically like we have a physical version of, um... I don't know. Like, vicious mockery, essentially. And distracting strike. I like this. Kind of a support archer. On the next attack roll, uh... For one turn, okay. Did it not say goading attack was melee? Did it? No, no, we've got a we've got a range, see? Goading attack ranged. So we can basically make just like be like, you far away target, you have to attack me who's far away. So that could be pretty good, I think. Uh menacing attack. Nah, basically, let's have, like, a guiding bolt. A distracting strike, which is a physical guiding bolt. And then goading attack, which is a physical vicious mockery. And then rally. I like that. <sighs> That's pretty nice. So we have one, two, three, four frontliners. And one, two, three backliners. I like this spread. I like this spread. It's a good spread. And maybe I might go in and like swap out Gale's subclass for something else, like Necromancy or something. That could be fun. But I want to keep them their, their original base classes for now. As for these backpacks, let's see. I'm going to make my adventuring pack my potions pack. That's what I'm going to do. So, my potions are going to go in here. Potion, potion of sleep, potion of flying. I'm going to put those in here. Wyvern toxin. Yeah, potions and poisons. We're going to send these arrows, these special arrows, over to Lazel. So that she can use them. Indolence breeds madness. At least things have stayed interesting. Potions and poisons in there. Blue dye die. We're going to put the die in my backpack. Boop. 
and the Mind Flayer Parasite specimens. We have to destroy these somehow. I don't know how, but if the werebears, are, they have advantage on death saving throws. Ooh, aid, absolute talisman aid. What is aid? Heal yourself and increase your hit points by a maximum of five hit points. Ooh, how much? So that's not temporary hit points. It's just, it just increases your hit points by five. Perhaps we give that to Karlak? I love you, Karlak. Don't burn yourself. Boop. Go. Sweet. Looking ahead. And then... Man, I have more spells than I am able to really see on my inventory. In my uh, hot bar, rather. I wish I could extend this hot bar. Increase rows. There we go. That's much nicer. Hey ho. Hey ho. Hey -ho. Go. Assume nothing. Assume nothing. There we go. You're gonna get a lot of spells as we go. Okay. Hey -oh. These tools, goblin drawings. Backpack. Yeah. All right. This is much cleaner. Probably sell a lot of these letters. I don't really need them. Alchemist fire. I can go in potions and poisons. Aloe oil? Made from a succulent flowering plant, this oil is about as useful on your journey as a false note to a clown protest group. A false nose to a clown protest group. Hey, come on. Aloe is good for burns. Antidote. Let's put that in there. Potion of Glorious Vaulting, put that in there. Bones. Bloodstone. Ball. I'm gonna quick save, because I don't want to hurt Scratch. I wonder what happens if you throw this ball at Scratch. I hope it doesn't hurt him. Here goes nothing. I just want him to catch yeah. it. Does he not pick it up? Always room for I want him to fetch the ball. Breathe deep and move. Ah! Hope you're keeping well, friend. Hmm. Apparently not. Okay, well. Just pick it up for now. All right, let's leave the camp and let's look at our massive party. Look at that, it's so many. I mean, Critical Role has what? Eight players, right? Nine, I don't know. We can do this, right? Nothing wrong with that. Big squad. Okay, so what's the plan now? Rescue Volo and find Halson. Let's go rescue Volo, shall we? Volo is that way. Ooh, a sweet potato. Hello, Grebo. Don't go bothering my pigeon. He's mine. Is this a mod? Yes, it is. Hmm. Does your bird have a name? Um, Peach. Ah, uh, so I see. Uh, do you have plans for this pigeon? Keep him safe. Listen to him coo. Till I get hungry or some such. <laughs> What's it to ya? Hmm.
Oh, I hate to see such a lovely creature in a cage. Hey, he don't mind. Keeps him safe from me mate. <laughs> Raids make him rabbit. Then catch one on your own. Hmm. The mark glows, but you feel nothing in response. Your lithid power is beyond reach until you rest. That's okay. Um, I don't plan on using it. Hmm. He looks weak, sick even. He won't last long in there. Add a bonus. Ten's not bad. All right, sweet. Take him for a jog, why don't you? And don't let the lads snatch him up. No, tell him what they'll do to him. Bring him back when he's all tuckered out. Here's the key. Pigeon's all yours. Thank you. All right, let me turn down the volume a bit. Uh, sound effects. Actually, I'll turn it down on stream. There we go. The audio sound good on your guys' end? Compared to mine, is it too loud or too quiet or anything like that? Here we go. <laughs> Look at this. I'm quite safe. A joy to Sounds see a familiar fine. face in such a precarious setting. I guarantee the story of your daring rescue of my person will live on for eons. Hmm. <laughs> Gold you owe me. Hmm. And remember my name when you're crediting the story's author. It's Victor. That will sound ridiculous. But fine, if you insist, as much as it pains me to cede creative control. <laughs> Once I've written you into one of my books, there won't be a tavern in Feru you can enter without receiving a hero's welcome. No, I plan you on it. You mustn't tarry, but I hate for our friendship to end here. Please, won't you meet me once we've both slipped the goblin yoke? Hmm. Slip the yoke? How do you intend to do that exactly? An invisibility potion, my friend. A bit less refined than your mendacious method, but by God, it'll do the trick. Hmm. Go to my camp. We'll talk there once we're both safe. Smashing! Soon, my friend. Soon we can share the flagon of something liquid and a tale of daring do. I love him. I'll slip away when the coast is clear. See you soon, my friend. I simply can't wait to pick your brain! Fellow bard? Father, how dare you stifle his creativity? What? Listen, I'm not stifling anything. I would just like to be included in his story. Unless I told him to credit me as the author. In which case, I mean, he can still have full creative control. Volo is Volo. Bard Buddies, yeah! Bard Buddies. Bard Buddies. All right. Let's see. Bardies! What do you call a party of bards? A band. Oh, hello. Abdrak. Hmm. You're a human. Greetings, child. I've met few aside from goblins here. Ah, are you also here to assist with the prisoner? Um. What prisoner? The gentleman being held next door. My acquaintance is working on him, I believe. While I was thrilled to be invited here, I must confess, I find the goblins and their methods crude and primitive. Pain without purpose is a terrible thing. Wouldn't you agree? Um, 
This guy could not sound more evil if he tried. Hmm. Oh, appalling. Exactly. Pain is an intimate thing. It should be delivered with a loving and measured hand. But trying to discuss such subtleties with these creatures is simply... Forgive me, but that look in your eyes, something terrible has happened to you. Um... That's none of your concern. Do not be ashamed, child. What I see in your eyes, in your soul, is only natural. We've all suffered in these dark times. It is little wonder you bear scars of pain and anger. Okay, he was speaking metaphorically. Please, let me alleviate this pain. Don't touch me. I don't need any alleviating, thanks. A pity you would have known such sweet relief at my hands. Should you realize you need my assistance, come back. I'll be waiting. I don't like you. I can only hand one foppish gay man in my party, thank you very much. And Astarian has filled that role to its entirety. Ooh. Liam. Poor lad. I could give you peace, you know. I do need an adult. He is an adult. You gotta keep silent, don't you? Where do they flee to, you stubborn rat? Please, stop! Here to see your friend, have you? Come and join him if you like. Say we'll take over. His work is sloppy. He'll kill the prisoner too quickly. The mark glows, but you feel nothing in response. Mm. Your illithid power is beyond reach until you rest. Shadowheart backseating me, all right. I'm taking over. Your sloppy handiwork is going to kill the prisoner too quickly. Oh, oh boy. Okay, here we go. All right, shoo. What? Think you can do better? <laughs> go on then. How about it? Hmm. I don't put on shows for amateurs. Leave. What? You shy or something? Fine. Muck it up and the drawer of your head. Come on, Crush. There might still be a slurp of ale to be had. I want to watch that weird priest next door. Sounded like he was beating something up. Oh, yeah, beating it good. Please, please. Let me out. There's no reason for this. I know, I'm gonna help, I'm gonna help you. Relax, I'm not going to leave you here. Th thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, pick the lock. Oh, what y'all? Nice, easy. The lock clicks and opens. Do I sound different? Or is it just the voice that I put on? Thank you. I, I better go before they catch us. I should be able to make it to the grove on my own. They need to know they're in danger. Hmm. Hmm. Tell me, have you seen a druid called Halson? Halson? I... I don't know. He changed into a bear, but... I lost sight of him. I don't know if he's still alive. Sound the same? Okay. I thought I thought that uh, maybe my microphone wasn't picking up and that it... <laughs> you know sometimes how Discord will randomly switch to a different device? 
I worry that 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 is what happened here, but thankfully not. Hmm. What did the goblins want with you? The the grove to the east. They wanted to know where we came from. No. They'll kill everyone. Please. I need to warn them. Hmm. You came looking for the night song, didn't you? Y yes. It should be here somewhere. They said there was a hidden passage underneath this temple. The place was supposed to be abandoned, but when we arrived, <sighs> hmm. Go on. Where can I find the night song? Brian had instructions, but Brian. <laughs> Goblins got him. Brian. They... They said they'd eat him. I... I have to go. I have to get out of here. All right. Run. Oh, I got an inspiration. Huzzah! And a secret exit. Hmm. So Halson is not here. How long is this game? I'm considering getting it, but I don't have a lot of time to play for the next few months. Probably at least a hundred hours, and that's what I'm expecting. As it is an RPG. At least give me a sword. We want you dead. Oh. You dumb knuckle. What's going on here? Not dead in here. Another outsider come to see the boss. <laughs> Mind your manners now, or he'll throw you in the pit. Hmm. Get down there and stop complaining. Unless you like big bristles. Did you just push that man? Legs, I wouldn't go down there, mate. That's the spider pit. Oh my god, oh my god, he's dead. Smaller giant spider, large giant spider. Hmm. Right into the pit. Okay. Well then. Good to know. There's some more humans here. Seems. I'm gonna quick save. Oh, it's a hobgoblin. Sugar <laughs> They're trying to revive I the mind flares. You corpse, speak, reveal truth to the absolute. By Vlacketh's blade, a geich. Nothing. Must be reading it wrong. Suga and Sukuk. This is the big boss. Strike him down. The hobgoblin turns to you, and the parasite squirms in your skull. You taste the ale on his tongue and the bile in his soul. The visions cloud your inner eye for a brief moment once again. You see the hobgoblin bowing before the armored elf you'd glimpsed before. The elf speaks of the hunt for a great weapon and the rewards that will go to whoever finds it. The hobgoblin's eyes gleam hungrily. If it isn't another true soul, he doesn't speak his next words, yet they still rattle your skull from within. You ever talk to a dead squid? Now's your chance. Hmm. I don't know if that's a good idea. <laughs> Scroll incense. Oh! Uh, do you mean to speak with this corpse? Damn right. I'm gonna make this carcass talk. Absolute says the dead Squiddy had a weapon. I reckon the killer nabbed it and scooted off to that looter camp. Oh. We find who killed it, 
and we find who took that weapon. So settle in. You feel Shadowheart's anxiety. The weapon the Absolute seeks is the artifact that she carries. Ooh. The same one that protected you as you entered the Goblin camp. Her mind focuses. Their suspicion cannot be aroused. They cannot discover that the weapon they seek is within their grasp. Mm. Thank you, Metal Heartless, for subscribing, and BoopBot for the raid. Welcome, everybody. I'm playing Baldur's Gate. Thank you as well to uh, Citrux Avali, Glacirus, uh, uh, the 5e fighter, consistency, diversity, generic, only if you want it to be. Yeah, thank you. Uh, for the 36 months, Vectron, Benchwarmer, XP, Ninja, Whoosh, uh, Fat form Farmer, and Emerald uh, Spanner, and Ten Hawks, 79. Thank you all very much for the support. Hmm. I know this magic. Hand me the scroll and I can do the talking. Then take it. Absolute knows I am not getting anywhere. You read aloud the words on the scroll. Vishna heche peshle poshu. The hideous corpse rises, tentacles writhing. Hmm. What were you doing in Faerun? Raglan scowls, shocked by a question you shouldn't have asked and a jolt shoots through you. Uh -oh. The creature speaks in visions. A swarm of Githyanki dragon riders, silver blades held high, control panels melting, flesh pods spilled open. I saw it too, Gith on the hunt. They know something. <laughs> Lazel standing there. Why were the Gith chasing the ship? You see dark tunnels lit by noxious pools of brine. The darkness spreads through the earth. The sky splits open and nautiloids pour out of a void that consumes the stars. They're leading an invasion. What in the... Suspicion floods Ragslin's mind. Your brain howls as you consider your final question. Final? I only get three? Who killed you? Another vision consumes you. A memory seen through the creature's soul-dead eyes. You see a clawed hand open a holding pod, devoid of flesh, only darkness. Oh, come on! The corpse collapses, silent once more. I did not ask the questions the hobgoblin wanted me to. No, we're not done! Irritation eclipses his suspicions, and Ragslin's mind rests. Okay. Riddles, all of it, and nothing to show for the trouble but rotting squid meat. No answers, no killer, and no damned weapon. <sighs> the damned trow was right. Can't let her get all of that glory. Seems I ain't done with you. Report to the drow. Minthara's the name. She's mounting an attack on that blasted grove. Tell her you'll join her. All right. Okay. We got out of this with our <laughs> flesh intact. Consider it done. Praise the absolute. Okay. We resolved this peacefully. I think that's pretty good. Oh, we got an inspiration, right? Yeah. Uh, interrogate the dead mind flare without drawing suspicion. All right, that's pretty good. Yeah. Surprisingly, no boss battle. Yeah. I was hoping to avoid a fight here. Oh, can't loot that. The absolute honors you and slays her enemies. She'll fertilize the fields with the dead. I guess three quests is more dramatic. My thoughts are that they've already asked them to. Two questions, so... I crave blood. Let's see, I'm gonna drink one. Uh, will... I shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. 
Let's see, I'm gonna send Will some potions. Uh, split three. Send it to Will. There we go. Actually, I know. I can send Will that uh, shield, right? Oh, it's, our, it's at camp. I don't feel like grabbing it. <laughs> Hello. I wouldn't dawdle if I were you. I doubt true soul Minthara has much patience left. All right. Also, uh, I saw this when in one of the preview trailers. This game is a whole lot more vertical than uh, Divinity, and I love it. It's like when uh, I think they showed like a screenshot of this, and I'm like, whoa! Now this is D and D. Oh, and a chest. Let's go grab this chest. Never a dull moment. Ooh, send this to Lazel. Go. And all right. Got the good map out, yeah. Multi-level building pieces. Yeah, this DM has a proper, like, miniature set. Your axe got broke! Mind if I do? Scrying eye. Best not to do anything suspicious while it's watching. What? Get your eye off my arse! Oh. A scrying eye. I want to read that your axe broke. Maglubiot, your axe got broke. Your whips don't sting. Your priest all croaked. Show your face and we'll take your eye, then chop you down to goblin size. The absolute will make you kneel, beg and grovel, bleed and squeal. Maglubiot's not gonna like that. If you don't know, Maglubiot is the original god that the uh, goblins pray to, and I don't think they're gonna like the goblins praying to this false god. Uh, let's not get suspicious of that. You have already failed me once, and now you dare to question me. Night Warden Mithra. Mithara. Mithara. Your scouting Big party stretches. has not returned, and half of the intruders escaped your guards. Sorry, mistress. We mucked up. Until their sanctuary is found, I will take something precious from you. Every hour that passes. A trinket, a tongue, a limb. I ain't no use without my limbs. The lads will make the prisoner squeal soon enough. I swear. Silence now, creature. Or I will silence you forever. As she turns to you, her thoughts mingle with yours. Ah, uh, the all shall love me in despair type of god. Caressing your brain. The chamber melts away to reveal a dark endless nowhere in it you see a vision the drow listens as a pale-eyed young woman whispers in her ear one of those the voice spoke of one of the chosen the vision fades away a true soul in such a grotesque form the absolute has a place in her heart even for death here her heart is more generous than mine Join my hunt, fairy, and obey me. I'm only half fae. Hmm. Hmm, I'm on a hunt too. You're my prey. Hmm. I'm on the hunt of my own. I'm looking for a druid named Halson. Interesting. 
What do you know of this druid? That business is my own. I have orders to capture him. Ah, shit. Welp. Roll again. Inspiration. Shit. Roll again. Nice. If you were sent here to hunt him, perhaps you can help me. The druid makes his home in a nearby sanctuary where his followers worship a false god. I intend to find it and destroy it. There is a weapon the Absolute seeks. I'm sure those wretches have it hidden away there. We will find it amongst the dead and the ashes. Her excitement is palpable. Okay, so she doesn't she actually know where he is. She's victory, talking about the grove. Of unbelievers' blood spilled, and of the weapon, she will seize it in the absolute's name. I thought I could get some information out of her. the grove you visited. Already, you feel her mind closing around yours. Luring her to the grove might expose her, providing you forewarn to uh, provided you forewarn the tieflings. If she finds the grove, everyone there will die. You need to throw her off the trail. Revealing its location might doom the tieflings, but it'd earn you her trust. Throw her off. My patience wears thin, true soul. The hunt must begin. Hmm. Hmm. There are innocent people in that grove, and I've come here to stop you. You would dare. The darkness will take you, Ibleth. Here we go. I think that's the first time I've declared to attack someone. So, let's attack, shall we? Let us let's see. It explodes to all caught in flame. Explodes. I don't want something all caught. Is Victor out of the way? Yes, if I do this. In that case, let's do a goading attack. Let's move over here. And what we're going to do is we're going to do a goading attack. Sixty, though. Hmm. Rally? Let's rally, actually. How many can we? An ally. One. I thought it would be a bunch. All right. In that case, frost explosion, ice or fire. Fire or ice. Well, fire lingers. So, hucha. Okay, they saved it. That's fine. Let's give Victor temp hit points. Okay. Oh, he's going for the war drum. Astarian? Stop him. 100%. Wait a minute. This just, it just attacks? You don't even need to like roll for it? Suck the blood from a living creature to regain hit points. The target takes piercing damage. What is piercing damage? Oh, it's just a type of damage. Okay. But not if it's sleeping. If the target is humanoid, you become happy, and the target becomes bloodless. It's not break stealth. Okay. Well then, we could just we could just do it. All right. Nice. <laughs> Starion is happy. Damn, and that's a bonus action, too. Sneak attack. 50-50. Uh, Damn. Victor, stop him. Dissonant whispers? Hmm. Sleep. Could sleep. Yeah, gotta stop him. Stop that. Too many hit points. Don't have a second level spell slot, so we'll do that. There we are. And 
we shall heal Karlak. Oh, <laughs> jeez, Karlak, it's just a, it's just a healing word. All right, and Will, you are gonna stab him while he sleep. And flourish. I just did that mostly for the crit. Uh, flourish. Okay. Karlak, please finish him off. Please, 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 please. There we go. Sweet. No war drum for you. Is there another war drum over here? Hopefully not. Okay. Do you are gonna do 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 smack this one? Maybe. Two, two to nine, two to five. Let's roll high. Damn, that's not high at all. Soul branding. All right, Gale. Gale, 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 Gale. Mage armor. You need a mage armor, like, immediately. Or... What if... Hold on. Oh, but she's got loot on her. I was going to say, what if we thunder wave her into here? But I'm going to lose out on the loot. Mm -hmm. Why do you have Witch Bolt? That's such a bad spell. All right. That's just... Oh, he's got a lot of health. Hold on. What is this? Uh, soul branding. Creature's movement speed is increased by five and its next weapon attack deals an additional three to five fire damage. This condition ends upon landing a successful weapon attack. Okay. You've got a lot of health, sir. Hmm. Hmm. All right, let's just mage armor. And then shove maybe <laughs> no i think that's good jump i remember i when i played early access i don't know which build it was but jump was also disengage where you had to jump to disengage from the target it was pretty silly okay he's coming here Ooh, ouch Oh, he's, he tried to push shadow heart oh god this is scary you should move actually no stop Calling reinforcements. Appear next turn to defend it. Okay. I was looking at me. Ooh, oh god. I should have just left it asleep. Uh pew. Nice. Um action surge, sure, why not? Let's kill it as soon as possible. Pew! There we go. Hey, level up! Level up who? Just those two? Oh, they're level three now. Okay, cool. And temp HP to Gale. And you are going to go sneak attack this guy. Nice. Offhand. Yeah, I have more party members because it's a mod. Survival is all that matters. Let's do a gaping wound. No time for mercy. All right. That's fine. I'm definitely going to long rest after this. Uh, let's do Bane. Bane, 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 Bane on both of you. What is that? 15%? Really? Oh, geez. All right. Well, it's worth a shot. Damn, yeah, thought so. Ready for another round. Carlac. Let's do are we able to do hold on. Let's are we out of rages? Yes we are. 
so I can't use the thing that I wanted to use. Smack! What's it gonna take? <laughs> Noise. Fast. And... Psycho Flame... Is it the same as Bonk? No, it's uh, better than Bonk, actually. The party's so big because of a mod. Ooh, opportunity attack. Hacha! Oh, <gasps> no! Oh my gosh! Shadowheart's dead! She just pushed her off! Oh god! Uh, Withers! <laughs> she just pushed her off into the abyss! Time to kill. Okay, well then. Uh, Magic Misuru. Jeez! Reload? No, we can we can revive her, I'm pretty sure. Let's see. Goading attack. That's what I'll do. Come on, please! Yes! Aw, oh, she made the save. Okay. And... We'll use our last rally on Gale. Sneak attack. It's okay. <laughs> Action economy! Everyone beat up the drow! It's weak grip. Action economy! Shove her in revenge? No, I want her loot. No holding back. Will Eldritch Blast. Actually, let's go high ground and then Eld Eldritch Blast. There we go. Good crit. And Karlak, beat her up. Cleave. We'll use Talisman. What is this? This is an action, so no. Searing Smite. No, you don't need that much. You just need to hit her once. <laughs> Reckless attack! Bacha! How a mighty fool. Nice. Okay. Uh, boop. There we go. Whew. Okay. All right. Spider silk armor. What's she got? A dagger, mace. Zion, Zionid, Zionid. An uncommon mace. Once per short rest, you can encase a target in fairy fire for two turns if you miss an attack against it. That's pretty good. That's really good, actually. Boots of striding. Gale can absorb this magic item. When you cast a spell that requires concentration, you gain momentum. Oh, so bonus uh, move speed. Okay, we can feed that to Gale. All right, let's just take it all. All right, so the goblin camp is probably going to be mad at us. So let's just take everything we can and leave. Big stretchies. Uh, the water sparklers. Electrify water. When the wearer stands in water during combat, it becomes electrified. Ooh, that sounds dangerous. We can feed that to Gale as well. Ah, oh, we could have destroyed the war drum. Interesting. Okay, well. Is there a fast travel spot? Um, didn't mean to do that. <laughs> You know about these parasites. Will we? 
Yes, okay. No, that's not... Okay, so this is the closest fast travel we can... Okay, that's fine. I'm fine with that. Okay, I'm gonna long rest. It's been a while since we long rested, but first... We go to camp. I'm just gonna put a night bot thing that will repeat that I'm that I have a mod on because a lot of people are wondering my party size here. I'm gonna make a night bot thing. Uh, ma uh, party mod. Joe has a larger party from use using a mod. Party limit be gone. There we go. What difficulty is this on? The normal one. I know that uh, having a larger party does make it easier as well, but I'm okay with that. I'm in this for the story and the experience anyway. Exclamation point mod. There we go. Whoops. Uh, mod. Submit. There we go. Going good or going bad? I'm absolutely going good. So first, level up, Victor. Level four, baby! All right. Cantrips, cantrips. We get another cantrip. Light could be good. Friends could be good. Uh, tar uh, in higher difficulty modes, the target might accuse you of enchanting them. Hmm. Will they accuse me here? Well, only one way to find out, right? Spells. Spells, 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 spells. Heat metal. This is a concentration. Heroism, concentration, feather fall, disguise self, cure wounds. Silence. Shatter could be good. That's a nice boom bap. Phantasmal force, knock. I don't like knock all that much. It's useful, for sure, but... Hmm. I, I got a lot of I got plenty of lockpicks. Calm emotions. Humanoids can't be charmed, frightened, or become enraged. Hmm. Could be good. Cloud of daggers sucks. It's bad. Uh, because it's only in a five foot area and you can't move it. Crown of madness could be good. It's like a uh, it's a lockdown. How do you feel about multi-classing? Is it detrimental or can it be useful sometimes? I think it's absolutely useful. There's some fun combos to be had. Detect thoughts. Could be good. Hmm. How many spell... What spells do I have right now? Can I see? I would like to see... I'm pretty sure I have a thing that gives me detect thoughts as well. I'm pretty sure. I feel like that's an invasion of privacy, though. Oh, replace spells. There we go. But I feel like I have detect thoughts from something else. It's the thing. Hmm. But it's in, like, one of the items that I have equipped. You can always back out and check. Oh, I didn't see that X. You're right. Uh... Speak with dead. No, it's speak with dead. I have that from something. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'll get detect thoughts. You do have detect thoughts from the tadpole, but I don't want to use the tadpole. 
The tad tadpole is evil and bad, and I don't like it. So we'll get Detect Thoughts. It's a nice utility, especially with the more pacifist route uh, that I'm going. Feet! Oh, I can pick a feet! Ability score improvement. Ooh, I could bump up Charisma. Or I could... Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Warcaster. Advantage on saving throws to maintain concentration on a spell. You can also use a reaction to, to cast Shocking Grasp at a target moving. Where's sh you know, shield master could be good. Sentinel is pretty good. Mm, performer. No. I already have a musical instrument proficiency. Hmm. Actor might be fun. Yeah, you're right. Doubled for deception and performance check. That would bump me to the next level of charisma. Fuck it. Full, full bard. You add your proficiency bonus to any deception roll. So, yeah, deception and performance times two. And expertise. So hold on, let me see. So, right now, Right now, my, uh, my performance is plus seven. So that is, uh, that is due to charisma being plus three. My proficiency bonus being a plus three. Right? No, plus two. But then expertise makes it a plus four. So then... It would be plus eight. Unless it would be plus six. Does that double expertise? Fuck it, I can always, I can always just like, go to Withers. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be plus eight, plus four, which is plus 12. Let's find out. If my theory is correct, this should give us a plus 12 in performance. Actor. No, I, I was wrong. Okay, so because X, it doesn't double expertise. That's still pretty good, though. So it's plus four from this. Wait, but then expertise is half my. No, expertise is half my. Uh, no, it's double proficiency. So then. What's my proficiency bonus? Plus two, so that's double. No, it's level, I'm thinking of level five. Okay. Jack of all trades is one. So that means that I might be wasting it because it doesn't stack. Hold on, let me pull out the calculator. Okay. So, let's see. Display, there we go. All right, so in theory, so we have plus four uh, from our charisma, right? Our, chari our riz is plus four. Our proficiency is plus two, right? But expertise, not jack of all trades. Keep in mind, expertise, where is it? Uh, da -da 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 -da. Oh, I don't have expertise yet. Never mind. I was wrong. Is it a Starion that has expertise? Jack of all trades. When do I, when do bards get expertise? Hold on. To D and D Beyond. Game rules. Bard. When do we get expertise? Expertise should be level three. 
did they remove expertise? It just doesn't show under features. No, you have it? Okay. Huh. Oh, I'm gonna have to spend another hundred gold. I see nothing. No one back home will ever believe this. On the skill modifiers? Hold on, let me look at spellbook. Common. No, that's not it. Hover over your skill you have should have expertise in it. It doesn't say. Instead of adding it all up during skill checks, it just has two different proficiency boxes. Oh. Here, I'm gonna I'm gonna quick save so that I don't waste all my gold. Up for discussion. And we're gonna we're gonna do a theory crafting. We're gonna go to Withers and we're just gonna up the ability score instead. Save. Dost thou require a new ally? As okay. We're gonna stay bard. Yep. Confirm. And level up. Yeah, whatever. Yep. Spell doesn't matter. So I'm gonna reload the save. Yep. Blah blah blah. Spells, yeah, whatever. Yeah, call it uh college of swords, sure. Uh blah, 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 fighting style dueling, sure. Okay, level four. So in theory, if I don't go actor, if I simply just ability score improvement and just up my charisma, that should make my bonus plus eight still. You have to pick expertise? Oh, I didn't pick my expertise. Whoops. Yeah, okay, so this tells me it doesn't stack. I'm pretty sure, yeah. So that means it doesn't matter. Actor's bonus doesn't work if you already have expertise in it. All right. All right. Sorry about all the math and numbers. I just want to be sure. Am I min-maxing a little bit? Sure, but I'm not min-maxing something broken. I'm just min-maxing something that I think would be fun. Like, if I really wanted to min-max, I could go, like, barbarian fighter or, like, barbarian monk. I need a quick word. So, let's respec. Fate. Does thou require a new ally? As there we go. All right. Bard, Bard, Bardadin? I might go Bardadin. Bardladin? Bardladin is fun. Uh, what did I have? I don't remember. Bane. Bardbarian? Bardbarian is not as useful as you would think. Because you can't cast your spells while you rage. Dissonant Whispers, that's what I had. Bardlock is pretty good as well. Spells. College of Swords. Yeah, so level three is where I should have expertise, right? So why is it not letting me... There we go, change. Yeah, performance persuasion, that's what I want. I want to keep those. 
Yeah, I want to keep that. Yeah. And... What did I have? Hold person, that's what I had. You want to change performance? No, I'll keep performance what it is. Because uh, expertise already gives me that. So I'd rather go with a different feat. Wait, no. That's wrong. Actor is better because it's double. Expertise is... No, expertise is doubled as well. I'd rather go with a different feat. You know, something else. Maybe Warcaster or something. Martial Adept. Mage Slayer. Uh, lightly Armored? Why would I go with Lightly Armored? I already have proficiency with up to medium. Defensive Duelist. You can use a reaction to add your proficiency bonus to your armor class, possibly causing attacks to miss. Hmm. That could be pretty good. Evasion Tank. Light Armor Master, I see. Uh, I don't see, I don't think light, I don't think, yeah. I don't think there is a light armor master. Yeah. Ritual caster, two ritual spells. Performer, nope. Thing is, I want to bump up my charisma to the next level, but I also want a feature because features are cool. You gain full hit points each time you take a short rest. Holy shit. That's not how it works in D&D, is it? Durable. The minimum number of hit points you regain from the roll equals twice your constitution. Yeah, okay, so they video gamified it. That's really good, though. You have an advantage on perception checks made to detect hidden. I'll give that to Astarian. I might go with Defensive Duelist. When you attack wielding a finesse weapon you're proficient with, you can use a reaction to add your proficiency bonus. Because what else am I using a reaction for, really? Attack of opportunity, I guess? But... When you make a crossbow... Okay. Charger, athlete... Hmm. <clears throat> Two maneuvers from the battle master list. That's pretty good. Revenge on any saving throw against. Uh, use a reaction to immediately make an attack. Spell sniper. We might give that to Will. Crit Eldritch blasts could be good. Proficiency in three skills of your choice. Shield master could be pretty good too. If a spell forces you to make a dexterity saving throw, you can use a reaction to shield yourself. On a failed saving throw, you only take half, and on a successful save, you don't, don't take any. This is one of my favorite shield features. Actually, it's the only shield feature, really. This is really good. Really good. Um, for, like, AoE defense. Warcaster could be good as well. If I want to be able to hold person while I attack... It's a reaction to cast Shocking Grasp. That's kind of interesting. Makes, sho makes Shocking Grasp good. Hmm. I don't think he's going to be casting all that m many. I don't want to have too many concentrate. Maybe we'll have this on, on Gale. Whew. I can always change it, so... I think...
It's a reaction to add your proficiency bonus. Oh, man. Do I want to be physically defensive or magically defensive? Let's do magic because he's got a he's got an AC of 18. That's not bad. Let's do friends. Detect thoughts. Reduce a creature's peripheral vision and make it look at you. Hmm. Could be a taunt. Heat metal could be good. Animal friendship could be good. So what is it? The cantrip that I have. It's friends, right? Silence could be good. I do have defensive flourish, so I can forego this thing. So that's that's pretty good. Shatters big boom. Nice on squishier enemies. Yeah, we'll do t detect thoughts. That's what we'll do. All right, Carlac. Let's see, and we can swap out if we want to. We're gonna stay Eagle Heart, perhaps. Actually, what does this give again? Heal, there's Elk. Elk is the chargey one. Attacking all opponents in the way. I mean, how often are they really gonna line up though? Dash as a bonus action is still really good. Athlete. When you are prone, setting up uses significantly less movement. Your jump distance also increases by 50%. That that's it. There we go. Boom. We're gonna we're gonna jump a lot further. That th that synergizes really well with uh, our eagle jump. Mad hops. She's a hoppy girl. The pride of the gate. As for you, Will. Jump good, yes. You shall pick maybe Minor Illusion? Yeah, I don't I don't see any of these being as useful. An undead target receives disadvantage on attack rolls. Hmm. That could be good. Nah, let's do illusions. And for your spells, let's pick... Ooh, Lord Keveros, thank you for the raid. Welcome, everybody. I'm playing Baldur's Gate. Ooh. Let's see. Expeditious Retreat, Hellish Rebuke. Could be a good back-off tool. Witch Bolt. Stinky skeleton raid. How can skeletons stink? They have no flesh. They're just made of bones. Bones can be stinky, actually. Now that I think about it. We're gonna foe. They deal half damage with weapon attacks using strength. Darkness could be good. Good debuff. Enthrall could be good. Since he's gonna be supporting, let's do hold person. And feet. Perhaps make him warcaster. Yeah, I like the idea of making Will a Warcaster. Especially if he's gonna be casting, like, spells that concentrate, like Hold Person. Yeah, let's do war Warcaster. There we go. 
Sweet. Party limit mod, uh, does it let you pick how many to increase by, or is it a set number? Uh, I think you can pick. You can have as many as are available. Um, I think to a maximum of eight, I'm pretty sure. And I think 12 multiplayer. You need some shoes, girl. Cantrip. Oh, let's do... Reduce flame? Flame in your hand sheds a light in a 30-foot radius and deals... Oh, okay. Neat. Thaumaturgy. Advantage on intimidation and performance checks. Performance, really? Interesting. Oh, light. There we go. Light's good. And I think you are actually going to... Hmm. We'll make her the anti-mage. Uh, we'll throw her next to the spellcasters and have her smack them. No, maybe not, actually. Ritual spells. We could make her our buffy support. Find familiar, long strider. Ooh. Until a long rest, though. Speak with the dead? Hmm. Wait. When making weapon attacks, you roll your damage die twice. Okay, damage die, not attack. I was like, does this just give you advantage the whole time? No, it doesn't. All right. Here, no, don't perfect. Okay. Maybe give her shield master. Could be good. You learn a cantrip, and the number you need to roll to hit when attacking is reduced to one. Reduced by one. Howdy, Joe Cat. How goes the stream so far? The stream goes... Anything interesting happen while playing yet? Stream goes well. Nothing interesting yet, aside from, uh, <laughs> Shadow Heart being pushed into the abyss and dying instantly. Instantly, rather. But deciding on what things to give her... I think we might give her Shield Master as well, because her saving throws are not amazing. Her dexterity saving throw is not amazing, so Shield Master would allow her to uh, take less damage from those failed saves she's inevitably going to have. So yeah, I think we're going to give her Shield Master as well. Astarian! Astarian! Yeah, she got better. <laughs> and maybe we don't give you a feat. Less dual wielder? You can use two weapon fighting even if your weapons aren't light, and you gain plus one bonus to armor class while wielding a melee weapon in each hand. You cannot dual wield heavy weapons. This could be fun. He does have two daggers. It allows him to dual wield... Short swords. Wait, no, short swords are light. But, like, hypothetically, if we wanted to give him long swords, we could. Plus one bonus armor class while wielding a melee weapon in each hand. Mage Slayer. Now, Mage Slayer might actually be way better on Astarian because if he's up front with people, his, um, his sneak attack will proc. So we're going to make him our anti-mage, actually. Because making a uh, opportunity attack with your sneak attack is pretty good. Apparently doing sneak attack with long swords have no animation, so you just stand around f for a second or two and then the damage just happens. That's funny. 
He does have proficiency with long swords. That would be an upgrade. So we could give him long swords. Uh, daggers don't particularly mean they're necessarily better. It's just that sneak attack um, just needs to be with an ally next to you. That's it, really. But... Daggers aren't... They don't have anything inherent that makes them better for rogues. It's just rogues are proficient with them and you need light weapons to sneak attack. But... Wait. Hold on. Let me see. Let me make sure I remember how sneak attack works. Uh... Deal extra damage to a foe you have advantage against. Also works if you have an ally within five feet of the target and you don't have disadvantage. Let me see. Let me just make doubly sure. Sneak attack. Does sneak attack depend on the weapon? It shouldn't. I'm pretty sure it shouldn't. Sneak attack, sneak attack, sneak attack. Okay. Uh, you da, 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 da. Once per turn, you can deal an extra d6 damage on one creature you uh, hit with an attack if you have advantage on the attack roll. The attack must be a finesse or a ranged weapon. Hmm. But it doesn't say it has to be finesse here. Something to do some science with. But if I give him short swords, that'll still be... Oh, rapiers, that's true. I could give him a rapier. Put a long sword in his hand. That's a good idea. Let's see. Certainly. Do I have any long swords, actually? Uh, that's a short sword. So short swords will work. I don't think I don't think I have any long swords. Still alive. So that's progress. This is a scimitar. I think I sold them all. I think I sold my long swords. Warlock. Well, well, well. I've got a javelin. The pride of the gate. Watch your back. Flackets will be done. There we go. Lazel's got a long sword. Well. All right, let's see. Uh, it's by Astarian. Yes, must be, must wield a finesse weapon. Okay, so short swords are finesse, so we can give him short swords at the very least. Short swords are an upgrade because it's one d six compared to one d four. All right, we'll give him short swords and dueling. Uh, dual wielder. There we go. Wait, no. Uh, short swords and, um... Mage Slayer. That's what I wanted. There we go. My mistake. Short swords and Mage Slayer. Actually, our scimitars... Boop. Well, Scimitars are finesse too, aren't they? They are. All right, let's give him a scimitar. How delicious. Mm, boop. There we go. <laughs> that looks ridiculous. Oh, enough waiting. I crave blood. So, if I give you this. Yeah, there we go. Sick. Cuz uh, long swords are versatile. But no, we're going to give this to Will. Sharp as ever. Apparently, it's a goblin scimitar. Huh? My faith will guide me. Let's move. 
All right. Lazel. Make the Gabo say something. You can make the Gabo say something. It costs 5,000. I'm going to drop it down because I'm feeling out the point amount. I'm going to drop it down to 4,000. It costs 4,000 cookies to have Gabo say stuff. I might drop it down to 2,500. I did a secret stream yesterday where we were testing out the cost amount. Why are you using a bigger party mod? Because I want a bigger party. Crossbow expert, defensive duelist, great weapon master, heavily armored, lucky, mobile, two maneuvers from the battle. Give her more maneuvers. Sentinel. Roll your damage twice. Savage attacker could be good. Sharpshooter. Your ranged weapon attacks do not receive penalties from high ground rules. Ranged weapon attacks with weapons you are proficient with have minus five penalty to their attack rolls, but deal an additional 10 damage. Ooh. Hmm. Less accurate for more damage. I don't like the less consistency. So... Proficiency with four weapons of your choice. We're already proficient with everything. I think she might just, uh, we might just ability score improvement her then in that case. Do you still get achievements with the mod? I don't know. I don't much care. So. You can toggle sharpshooter. Sharpshooter low ground. All in. Ah, it's an option. I see. I remember all in. All in, um... We bring all our friends with us on this wonderful adventure. <laughs> A bit of bits. A bit of bits, thank you. Yeah, uh, from Divinity, that w there was an attack called All In. Hmm... Savage attacker, though, could be good for higher consistent damage. I think she we she might just. Man, I just noticed I have some pocket change. Cookies. So now the gobo will speak. <laughs> Thank you. Have some pocket change. Thank you. I think uh, true to form as a fighter, we're gonna just give her some stats. Ice wind gale. Ice wind gale. Yeah. Wow. Use again uh, to gain advantage on attack rolls, ability checks, or saving throws, or to make an enemy reroll their attack rolls. Could be good. Lucky is pretty powerful, but yeah, uh, man, true to form, the fighter, stat improvement. Yeah, uh, I'm okay with that. Can't think of anything funny to say, so I'll just have to say good day and good night due to the dreaded time zones. Yeah, good day. Slash good night. And Gale. More spells. Uh, shocking grasp. Vantage on creatures with metal armor. Good anti-armor. Could do that. Prepared spells. What do we have? So... Spells. Spells, 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 spells. What cantrips do you have? Do you have an attacking cantrip? Uh, yes, you do. Firebolt. So I don't want another attacking cantrip. Yeah. Gale is evocation wizard right now. Maybe I'll swap them over some other time. So... Damages each creature it hits. So that's an AOE. Could be useful. Blade Ward could be good as well. As like a just a thing to use on yourself while you set up. Hmm. 
Acid Splash. Yeah, it's, a, it's an AoE cantrip, I guess. All right. Oh, my man. Uh, Arcane Lock can no longer be block picked or opened with knock. Darkness could be good. Dark Vision. Since he's an evocation wizard, we're gonna make him. Uh, we're gonna make him an offensive caster. Oh, <gasps> magic weapon. Oh, but it's concentration. Okay, let's give him damage. Scorching ray. Hmm. Target still takes half the initial damage, even if it misses. Gust of wind is off balance. Disadvantage on strength and dexterity checks and attack rolls against it have advantage for one turn. Whoops. Hydrate Joe Cat. Also, that's a lot of damage. That is a lot of damage. Let me go get a cup of water. I don't have a cup of water. Make sure to hydrate. Don't want to disappoint Gabo. Since he's evocation and our evocation stuff is going to make our uh, allies automatically succeed their saving throws against the spells and take no damage from them. So we want to take advantage of that. Advantage of the fact we can do that. So... One more level and we get the spell, you guys. Did the you bring spell. me back any cookies, too? <laughs> I'm sorry, Gabo. I don't have any cookies for you. Chat's got plenty of cookies, though. Enlarge, reduce. Oh, man. Flaming sphere. Gust of wind could be good. Because that's an evocation that we can cast and have our allies uh, succeed. Yeah, Gust of Wind is really good with Sculpt Spell. Misty Step. I want step, all though. the cookies. You will have all the cookies. Misty Step is a must have. And Scorching Ray? It's, no, Scorching Ray is not an AoE, it's a target, so we don't... It, it's an... it's an attack. Uh, let's see, prepared spells. What's... why do you have Witch Bolt? Why do you have Witch Bolt? My man. It's so bad. Does he start with Witch Bolt? Is that... is that it? Mirror Image... Feather Fall, Thunder Wave... Oof. Let's change Thunder Wave out for Misty Step. There we go. Yeah, he starts with it. Yeah. I don't know. If I... Let's give him Spell Sniper. There we go. Which He's going to be our DPS like man. Switch build. <laughs> Maybe he Rock took it as a joke. For Gobo. Rock Candies for Gobo. Yeah. It's funny that the text of speech says Gobo, and the way for, for it to say Gobo is you gotta spell it G A W. Here, I'll, I'll do it. Uh, Gobo. Gobo. Yeah, like that. Is Witch Bolt that bad? Yes. So the thing about Witch Bolt is, right? Okay, let me tell you why Witch Bolt is bad. It's a single target, right? It's 1d12. That's not too bad, right? Let's let's look at some other spells. Let's. It's comparable to like, I don't know. What's uh What's another what's another spell he has that I don't know, Thunder Wave or 
I don't know, magic missile. Ice knife. Let's compare it to ice knife, right? Let's see, ice knife. Ice knife. Let's compare it to ice knife. Ice knife is 1d10, all right? Uh, hit or miss, the shard explodes, and the target can take an additional 2d6. So that is a damage potential of up to 22. That is t uh, 22 damage. That's between 3 and 22. So already the damage potential of Ice Knife is higher than Witch Bolt. For the same, for the same spell slot, right? Same range. And it's a slight AoE, so it can hit multiple targets. Witch Bolt hits one person for less damage. Not only this, it is a concentration spell. So you're like, oh, but you can just keep using it over and over again uh, for free. And yes, that is a nice utility, but it's still another 1d12, which is not great. In addition to that, you have to spend your action to do it, which you might think, like, oh, it's useful, you can just get consistent damage, but you're a wizard. You have a lot of spells. You are wasting a lot of your potential. Um, if you are spending every turn dealing 1d12 damage, you could be doing other things. You could be casting grease on the ground. You could be pushing someone. You could, I don't know, make an illusion, make a fog cloud, cast some darkness. You have so much utility to be wasting it using Witch Bolt. There are so many other better spells you could be using. And let's say, okay, you cast Witch Bolt, you latch someone on, right? Best case scenario. Then someone hit you, hits you, you lose concentration, and guess what? You just cost, you, you just cast a cantrip that, that costs a level one spell slot, and now, and now it's done. Like, you might as well, like this is the same damage potential as a fighter going up and hitting someone with, with a fucking, like a, a great axe or something. And a fighter has better AC and health than you do. <laughs> Witch Bolt is bad. Witch Bolt is really, really bad. Because there are better spells that do more damage at the same spell slot that doesn't lock you down into concentrating. That's another thing. Because it's concentration, you can't cast other concentration spells. If you want to cast something like Hold Person, you have to drop your Witch Bolt, and then you just wasted your level one spell slot on a crappy spell. Yeah. Do spells have a damage type in their name? Witch Bolt is for ghost busting. <laughs> you're right, you're right. I, I take it back. Yeah, Witch Bolt is probably one of the worst level one spell slots. Uh, level one spells, like, of all time. Spell Sniper. Oh, I get another cantrip. Sweet. I get Eldritch Blast? What the fuck? All right, well. Sure. but it is a good torture spell. Mm. I highly disagree. You know what's a good torture spell? Hold person. Or fucking, let, let's go level one. What, what, what's a level one? Ray of Sickness does more damage. And it poisons them. Possibly. <coughs> yeah, look at that ice knife. That's so good. For a level one spell, that's so good. Oh, for torture, you mean outside of combat. Yeah, sure. I never considered it that way because I, I don't often torture characters. But yes, if you're looking for an out of combat, as a combat spell, it's really bad. Uh, but outside of combat, I can see some utility. All right. Sure. Sure, sure, sure. But yeah, interesting. All right, so let's not get Acid Splash then in this case. Let's swap it out for... Um... Uh, all these are kind of bad. Minor Illusion, sure. Or have, have two Illusionists. Or Blade Ward, actually. I could see some situations where we might need to use Blade Ward. We're not going to use it very often. At least it's not True Strike. True Strike is the worst spell ever, but it has the uniqueness that it's a cantrip. Is 
It's unique in that it is a cantrip. So it only has so much competition. Enough waiting. I crave blood. All right. Now, who to give this? Advantage on constitution saving throw checks. Let's give that to Gale, actually. Wait. Light armor. Gale, can you wear light armor? I don't think you can. Oh, he can, maybe? Yes! All right, so he basically got Warcaster. In a manner of speaking. Yeah. So this will help with his concentration spells. Never a dull moment. And Boots of Striding will feed that to Gale. Water Sparks. We can feed that to Gale. Wait, when you cast a spell that requires concentration, you gain momentum. Hmm. Let's give this to Will. He's got a few concentration spells. Not proficient with medium armor, never mind. Maybe Shadowheart? How many concentrations do you have? You've got Bane. We've got Guidance, but we use that outside of combat most of the time. Silence? All right. All right, yeah, I'll give it to you. Momentum, what is momentum? Movement speed increased by five feet for the remaining, okay. So you become faster. All right, I like that. Spiritual weapon always seems to miss in my playthrough. Yeah, it is just another weapon. It's a really good spell, but it is a weapon at the end of the day. Still needs to attack. Yeah. What other magic thing? There we go. Uh, in case, fairy fire. Yeah, support hitter. This is not going to deal as much damage, but that's okay. It's more consistent and it has that bonus to it. Have a lot on my mind and well, in it. <laughs> Menthara's at ease clothes. Did we just get, we, we just plundered her underwear. Nice, oh, wait a minute. This is, uh, this used to be Shadowheart's underwear in uh, early access, I'm pretty sure, anyway. No, no, I think I'm wrong, Never mind. It just has a similar style, I guess. Still breathing. Victor's going commando, he is not. Let's see, okay. Am I done equipping everybody? I think I am. All right, thank you for the patience, everybody. I know you're just just looking forward to all the spreadsheets and, and such, and I know it's very exciting, but sadly we do have to move on and do a long rest now. Or talk to Volo, actually. Something's on my mind. Did the elf bite you? He did. Oh, my good fella. Quite the cozy setup you have here. I'll just make myself comfortable. Thank you so much. Hmm. I was just settling in and reviewing my latest findings. Mind flares, cultists, and, of course, your esteemed company. <laughs> hmm. Thank you, Volo. Sorry. Adjusting prices. Here we go. Gabo speak is now... 2500 I think that's going to be a good price for it. Ah, uh, what do you know about mind flayers? Why, I'm practically an expert. They've tentacles, you know. Quite shocking. My god! The druid Halson had some kind of mind flare specimen in a jar in his quarters. A replica, no doubt, but truly fascinating to see up close. Oh, I have one of those. Um... I found one of them. Here? On the Sword Coast? Impossible! Hmm. Not only have I encountered Mind Flare, I've killed one. That... that can't be. Hmm. I was captured by Mind Flares before. I'm lucky to be alive. 
You're mad! But tell me, have you noticed any residual psionic malaise since the alleged encounter? Hmm. Hmm. I have, and the Mind Flayer infected me with a parasite. That's quite impossible. You'd have undergone ceramorphosis by now. Ah, uh, if only disbelief could alter facts. If what you say were true, you'd be a Mind Flayer by now. You? Infected by a Mind Flayer? <laughs> Ridiculous. Isn't it? <laughs> Examine me. Find out for yourself. Perhaps that's for the best. I'd be irresponsible not to debunk such a strange claim. <laughs> debunk. Chad Bard debunks claim of Mind Flayer infection. If I just peer in your eye, I could quickly... Oh, dear sweet God! Hmm. <laughs> Quit the shouting. Can you help? I mean, yes. I suppose I can. I'll need to research the particulars, however. Give me a bit of time, and I'll have this little issue sorted. Oh, oh. Folk hero, the bard with nine lives. Rescue Volo, all right. Volo has decided to remain in our camp. Having such a learned scholar nearby might be useful. Remedial Rhymes. When you inspire an ally using bardic inspiration, gain four temporary hit points. All right. How's it look? How's that compared to this? Ooh, but my armor's way better, though. Oh, my gosh. Now that's some bard armor. That's some bardic armor if I've ever seen it. Oh, but my armor class. AC 16. AC 18. Ah, damn. And I could die it too. It's so green. Green's not my color. Let's die it. Uh, can I combine? I gotta. Uh, there we go. Let's see. Let's see. Muddy red, red dye. Let's try it with a red dye. Combine. Mm, too red, too red for me. Too red. Muddy red? Okay, that's more my style. It's a bit brown though. Pale green, blue. Let's try blue. Mmm, fancy, fancy. Do we not have anything like layered armor? Sadly not. We have underwear, which, uh, it's different. Oh, I'm not actually wearing any underwear. Uh, but like, this is like camp wear, but no, we can't put our armor there, sadly. Hopefully maybe some modders, uh, figure that out. What about pale green? Mmm, not my style. What about Drake General? That's the red and yellow one from, uh, what's it called? Divinity. No, I think I like the, I like the higher armor class more. I'm mostly using my Bardic's Inspirations for fl uh, flourishes anyway. So, yeah. Some other time. I'm not really the support bard. Maybe if I, once I play um, with friends, I think I'll go more of a support bard route. Where's my underwear? I think it was here somewhere. Did I sell it? I hope not. Oh God. Hmm. There we go. Let's put something on, shall we? There we go. Equip. Purple underwear. <laughs> oh, 
All right, our first long rest with Karlak. It's been a while since we had a long rest, actually. So, long rest it is. I'm tempted to keep going since I got some resources from leveling up. But, nah, everyone's resources are pretty out. Oh no, is it the blood sucking? Is that... Gerber has been with? wondering, what has been your favorite part of the game so far? The also, thanks for lowering Gobo speaks for us cookie peasants. Down your forehead. Pain shoots through your fingers. Ooh. What's been my favorite part? My favorite part is playing essentially D and D without having without any of all the setup. This is the best game if you want to play D and D but you don't have a group to play with. Um, it's great. It, I, I get to play my boy, my bard, Victor Quibbles, man of song and uh, seduction, without having to worry about finding a dungeon master or you know setting up time. Divinity 2 is also good in that. Yeah, agreed. Huh. Wipe the sweat from your brow. Rub your aching hands. Press your fingers to your mouth. Moisture drips down your forehead. Pain. I'll wipe the sweat. Your hands shake as they reach upward. Your forehead remains drenched no matter how much you wipe. What are you doing, Lazo? Chukil gake vlaketh mazathok. Can you feel it crawling through you? Tendrils squirming in your chest, gripping your heart, piercing your belly. Your if you haven't yet, popping, you should check out the narrator's outtakes. They're hilarious. I have. I see it in you. I feel it in me. We are lost. I will be quick with my blade. First you, then the others, then... Myself. I, I appreciate you being pragmatic, twine. but... You sense a touch of uncertainty. A touch of disgust. What? Insecurity? Also, yes, I have heard the outtakes from... Uh, she she also voices Malady in uh, Divinity 2. I love her outtakes. Uh, she's got a YouTube channel, actually. Let me see. Do -do 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 -do. Amelia Tyler. She's great. Here, listen to some of this. Uh, where were we? Who am I? What day is it? Why do my arms hurt? This and other questions will never be answered. <laughs> Covered in inscrutable. <laughs> uh, I love this sound. Uh, Covered in ins questions will never be answered. <laughs> Covered. I love that. That's great. In inscrutable. <laughs> uh, Sometimes you think you're on mute and you're not. To have a romantic interlude with Will. Press 1. To have a romantic interlude with Shadowheart, press 2. I do- this is like prime material to use for alert sounds. I- I just might. But yeah, uh, Amelia Tyler, you're amazing. <laughs> Let's see, um, we're just exhausted. Lower your blade before you do something foolish. It's just a fever. Don't you see how far gone you are? Give me that blade, I'll make it quick. Surrender to Lazel, okay. We're just exhausted. Lower your blade before you do something foolish. Hot damn. Advantage. All right. Nice. I needed that. I cannot trust my own mind. So it seems I must trust yours. I will wait. But know this. I am watching. If the sickness does not pass come dawn... I will end us all. Oh, hello. <gasps> My guardian. I came just in time. <gasps> you are transforming. Hello. Hello, ma'am. Hello? Hmm. I know your voice. I've heard it before. Yes. 
You have. I saved you before. Oh, <gasps> it was her. And I'm here to save you again. You've already done so. Don't worry. You will not become a mind flayer. Not while I'm around. I'll protect you. I like her who's a big, we scary player character. Time. What so level are you? Closely. Are you level two? I'm level four now. There is great potential within you. It comes from that parasite. Your instinct is to resist the power it gives, but you must accept it. Nurture it. Oh? I will keep it from consuming you, but for the sake of both of us, you must learn to wield it. Um... I don't know... Fight for the fate of Faerun, a fight we are losing. So, now, Victor, what did you dream about? You can change Orc that, mommy. but only if you embrace your potential. I have to go. The enemy is closing in. I will be back. I don't know about that. I don't know. I... There's got to be another way. Wake now. You'll feel better. I promise. I'm not one to give my soul to gods. <clears throat> like, three of my companions have already done that, so... <sighs> All right. Sweet. Good. Whew. Let's march. What's next? Ah, uh, much better. God, it's so nice to see everyone's resources being ready. full. No time to rest. Let's see. This and this. Uh I'm gonna to grab the things that I mean to sell out of the chest. Yeah. No gods, no masters. Only man. Let's do these. Carlac. Uh, Carlac. Carlac. Go. How do you do, doggo? I want to have a word. Oh, my speak with animals is in here. Pet. Good boy. What a good boy. What a good boy. You said a good boy. That should give you inspiration for the day. Somebody make a mod where when you spe when you pet scratch, you get inspiration for the day. Let's see, uh, common, what's new? I don't see anything new. Sbard, speak with animals, speak with animals. There we go. Doesn't grant any additional benefits, okay. Luckily it's a ritual spell, so I don't need to worry about spell slots. Passives, custom. Yes, pet the good boy. Yes, indeed. All right, it's a new day upon us. Volo, what say you? Ah, my good fellow. Quite the cozy setup you have here. I'll just make myself comfortable. Thank you so much. You're welcome, buddy. I don't want to save scum this in this game, but I accidentally aggroed scratch. Same, like, we, we save scum scratch, because you just gotta. Has your research turned up anything that might help with this parasite problem?
Listen, if my if my guardian is good, they'll understand my wishes. My research turned up a rather brilliant technique that seems quite actionable. It's not too deep. Just behind the orbital socket. I could attempt an extraction. I've a needle in my tunic, after all. Mm. Wait, hold on a minute. Hmm. How many times have you done this before? I assure you, I've dreamt of it a thousand times over. I'd rather a second opinion. You won't find a more learned opinion on this matter, I assure you. Mm. Uh, for those of you who get squeamish around body horror, I would look away now. Volo carefully holds one of your eyes open and begins to prod uncertainly with the needle. Uh, endure the discomfort, let him carry the on. The needle finds the gap between eyeball and socket. Volo frowns uh, and begins to push. Oh, God! Oh, oh Jesus! Your body as the needle snags on your optic nerve. Fuck! I think! I have it! The needle seesaws back and forth, plucking the nerve like a harp string. Oh. No bother. There's some obstacle in the way. I shall need a more robust implement. Mm. Volo carefully withdraws the needle from your eye. Then, reaching into his bag, he produces oh, an Oh, God! Pig. Fuck. Uh, it's not safe to look back yet, but I want to see where this goes. I might have to look away. Volo slowly brings the ice pick closer to your eye. Not safe to no. look yet. Stop. Don't move. Don't look back yet. Don't look yet. Cold Don't look yet. Metal presses against the skin Don't look yet. Your brow. Don't, okay, no, I can't. I actually can't do this. No, I'm sorry. Tap. Stab. I can't. I can't do this. I'm sorry, I can't. I just can't. All right, it's safe to look back again. Maybe it might help. Maybe, but that's too Deep that's too much for me. No. Whew. Oh my gosh. You won't find a more learned opinion on this matter, I assure you. Nope. You only have a matter of days to live. Don't dally, my friend. Hey guys, I, so some of you may have said that the buff is worth it. If you can tolerate the encounter, it's worth it. I want to remind everyone that this is a no backseating stream and there is a backseat command that has been going on a bunch. And I would thank you not to spoil mechanics and such for me that I have not encountered yet. If it happens again, I'm gonna have to start share issuing 100, bands. Share 100, I dare say speak with animals. Flashbacks to death and all spells that let you interact and speak with all creatures are so great in this game. I question the mental states of those. Of those poor voice actors that gave lines to all the animals in the game. Yeah, Larian is a different breed. Yeah, guys, let's not spoil gameplay things and rewards things. Let's see. Where is Halson? 
Rescue the druid Halson. We learn uh, that Halson transformed into a bear during the chaos of the failed expedition. He might still be that shape. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Okay, so Halson is just somewhere. Remember, chat. No sack beating. Er, sorry. Backseating. Okay. Let's go back to the goblin camp and continue our search. Maybe he might still be around there somewhere. Nozelle, how would you punish someone who wronged you? Wrong me how? Oh, say, murder or theft? Killing is good. It calls the weak. But theft would be paid... No one stopped me yet. <laughs> Murder is good, she says. Moving in. Ever heard of a vampire called Casador? Well, I don't think so. Why? Friend of yours. He's patriarch of the Tsar family. Nasty fellow, if the histories are accurate. I imagine they are. Another good reason to have the party limit be gone mod. Everyone, I can hear everyone's party interactions. What's back here? It's a cave and a web. Step carefully. Ooh. There's a trap. Landmine, okay. Ooh. Nice. All right. Whew. There's got to be quite a few more here. Salutations. Clear that web. That's a hole. Perhaps to the Underdark? Is that blood? No, never mind. Oh, ow. Okay, it didn't hurt too much. Two fire damage, not too bad. Uh, I'm gonna quick save. And Gale. Away from water deep. Yes. Turn-based mode. That's a hole. A whole lot of fun, you mean. And let us. Ah, I can't. Let's see. Dash. And jump. Oh, I can't jump in the hole? Ah, damn. I thought it was a hole I could jump into. I cast Yeet. <laughs> also known as Thunder Wave. Come to Faerun, where we have real fake holes. Which party size mod is Joe Cat using? I'm using Party, That's party Limit Be Gone from. Uh... Wow, I can disarm the already disarmed trap. I'm using Party, party Limit Be Gone from the. Uh... Oh, this is the Hag's House. I remember this in early access. Let's. Okay, one thing at a time. Let's go over here first. Uh, from Nexus Mods, it is Party Limit Be Gone. Can't slow down. Ooh, ow, ow, ow. There's a trap. Oh, jeez. Does anybody have detect traps? Oh, everyone's hurt already. This the game that's included with the D&D &D character creator? What are you? Warlock Thud. Hold on, let me Song of Rest. <laughs> um, boop. Freshened up and ready to fight. Okay. Just started and I already have had to I'm short rest. Ow, 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 ow. 
Hello. Seems like a good moment to talk. Looking at a future true soul, you are. Boss Ragslin says I'm next in line. Hmm. Good for you. I'm happy for you. And the Noll Norder I'm clean off. So much for the flaming fist, day. Eh? Hmm. You saw a flaming fist? Where? You ain't here. We sacked Joaquin's rest and left it to burn. Drow flinging magic. Noll snapping off heads. Inns nothing but a pile of ash by now. Hmm. Glorious. Were there any survivors? Bunch of prisoners got towed to Moonrise. City snobs, mostly. But the flaming fist? Pile of smoking corpses. Hmm. Do you happen to know the way to Moonrise? You ain't know the broken road? Meh. <laughs> no. I'll tell you real slow, like, so you don't miss it. No. <laughs> well, that is directions. What about the priestess? Tribe? Oh. Scribe. Tribe! I'm kind of sad I can't play as a goblin, lizard man, or the cat people underscore. Yeah, maybe some modder can add it in. Tribe. Tribe! <laughs> she wants... Yeah, tribe! You got it. It's probably the only word in common that she knows. What is this way? Mountain Pass. Okay. It's probably for the next area, perhaps. This map is huge! Yeah, so uh, achievements still work, apparently. I just got one. Rotten Bear Ghost Blue Wheel. This cheese wheel gives off a distinctly sour smell. Mm. Oh, what's this way? Oh, nothing. Praise be to the absolute. Back into the goblin camp we go. Your shadow heart. By all means, leave if I am so distasteful. I'd rather not turn my back on you, if it's all the same. Jeez. So aggressive, Lazel. All right, I'm gonna be honest. I see a lot of people simping for Lazel, and I don't see it. I don't see the appeal. I don't understand why someone would like someone so abusive and mean. I don't get it. Even I, I just don't understand. Like other chicken, don't now, it? most of the time, whenever something's not my taste, I'm like, oh, yeah, I can see why you would like that. But not with Lazelle. I don't get it. I just don't understand. Like, whenever people present me, they're like, oh, because she's like, ah, oh, she's rude and mean. I'm like, but that's awful. I don't like that. I can fix her. No, I can make her worse. I don't know. I don't know. Not a fan. Not a fan. Carlac's at least nice, you know? Carlac's cool and friendly. And a bro. No. Too fat. Please to live in my party to have someone to disagree with. <laughs> That's me with the whole Yandere genre. Amazing. Okay, so... Quest. Find a cure, find the first druid. Save refugees. Kaga wants to make the tieflings leave, no. So then where is... It don't feel right messing with it, is all. Where is Halson? Hmm. I don't know. Ha. Huh. I guess maybe he's just not here. Alright, let's explore other parts of the map then, in that case. A disgusting waste of stonecraft. Dead. Oh, a waypoint! Sweet! 
dead adventurer and crusher. Hello. Finally, a waypoint in the goblin camp. <gasps> Children. You look like you think you're old. Mess with us, and you'll end up like this bleeder. No, I believe you. Is this your first time in the goblin camp? No. Uh, sorry, I didn't want any trouble. Yeah, too right. So don't go starting nothing. Goblin children are mean. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, well, so there's nothing left for us here, so perhaps I'll go down this path, see what's up with the hag. And I only know that because I played early access and there was a hag that way. So, let's go back here. Lead if you must, Astarian. But give me some a hungry look, and I'll drive a stake through your heart. Mm. I do so very like spicy food. Well, I don't get it. You know, like, like, like that's the appeal, right? It's like, ah, I like someone who plays hard to get. I don't. <laughs> She's not playing hard to get. I don't think she actually likes me. I don't think she likes anybody, uh, for, for that matter. I don't know. Uh, me personally, I, I like a, I like a girl who likes me. You know, <laughs> who shows some interest, perhaps. We can't tell you why we like her. Maybe it's just a feeling, you know. Wharf? I guess so. This is not the goblin camp. I wanted to go this way. There's the way. I want a girl who will step on me for pleasure, not because she wants to kill me, yeah. Oh, oh I thought I disarmed that. Oh, well. Oh, fuck! Ow, ow, ow! Shit. Well done. Okay. That is not it. Potions. Ah, yeesh. All right. Come on. Any more traps? No? Okay, good. A girl worth fighting for. Hmm. You've the most exquisite eyes. Ask Tarion would look better in a gown than Shadow Heart. Change my mind. Agreed. We'll have no issues pushing through it. Is that a compliment? No, it is a fact. Life in this Faerun is laughably weak. Yeah, she doesn't strike me as someone who says anything out of malice. Like, I know she's not trying to be rude. She just sees them as fact. So why don't we go over here? Probably jump down, yeah? With some... Seek and you shall find me. Feather fall. Can't give up now. And a jumper. Yaw! Go. Ribbit. What do you got to say, frog? Greaves! Shallow water! Great Greaves! Shallow water! Hmm. What are you croaking on about? Green leaves! Shallow chill runs up your spine. There is something wrong with this creature. Very wrong. Burn! Please! Kill! Hmm. Not to be a racist, but that's her whole race's characteristics. I personally love my giant tomboy barbarian goth GF. Car can hold me on her arms like a baby while I cast vicious mockery. Agreed. Carlac can give you the same appeal. But she's nice. What's wrong? What is it? Hmm. Uh, 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 Perhaps I should just go. Green leaves, shallow water. Green leaves, shallow water. And that's why I don't want to live in Baldur's Gate. 
Or most of the Sword Coast, actually. There's monsters and hags and creatures that want to kill you and turn you and hex you and do all manner of unspeakable tortures. Living in Faerun must be a nightmare. Reinforced greatsword. All right. Wish I had a bag of holding. A chill runs up your spine. You feel like you're being watched. Hmm. Look for anything out of the out of the ordinary. Not great at investigating, but. Ooh. Yep. Nah. The place has a quiet sense of calm. You can't see anything strange. Okay. If I remember correctly, this is the place where the sword and a hat. Wonder who's where the red caps are. Hmm. Traveler's chest. What to do? Fire Amber. I've never met anyone like you, Lazer. Yes. I've been told I'm quite scintillating. Have you really? No. <laughs> Is that a joke? Lazel just joked. What is scintillating? Scintillating, sparkling, or shining brightly. Brilliant, or excitingly clever, or skillful. She made a joke. Hello? The sheep's voice warbles. You realize it's trying to say bar. Hmm. Tell me about this place, sheep. Um, bah! Curious. <sighs> Despite your magic, the creature doesn't understand you. Hmm. Drop your eyes and carefully reach out. Fifteen's quite high. Ugh. Wheezing, the sheep backs away. Hmm. Bah. A sheep wouldn't say bah, it would say what it means to say. Bah. Hmm. Suspicious. Methinks they might be in disguise. Oh god, what's going on? Bleeding. Wounded. Ah, shit. There's traps about. Ba. Ba. I'll translate. Ba. Ba humbug, he's big on a Christmas carol. Okay. Laser. Do you believe in love at first sight? I hardly believe in love at all. Oh. But I do believe in carnal pleasure. Oh. <laughs> Will? Will, I know what you're thinking. Don't do it. Don't do it. It's not, don't, don't stick your dick in crazy. Listen, we respect sex workers here. And sex is only as sacred as we wish it to be. But that woman will chop your penis off. Ah, Shadow. How blessed I am to be so near. I heard you with laser. And serve it back to you Don't for breakfast. What has been you most? That was unexpected part of this game. The most unexpected part of the game. Hmm. It's not worth it, Will. <laughs> not worth it. I don't know, nothing crazy yet. I guess the most unexpected thing is my guardian Our telling me to... Mentioned intrigues me. Care to tell me a bit more? An intricate device crafted by Malar. 
our most gifted artisans. I am sworn to say no more. I guess the thing that most unexpected was the guardian telling me to sate my parasite. You know, the, the tadpole says, in my head. Save your pity for the week. Hmm. But, because I really don't want to do that. Oh, hey, a waypoint. Sweet. Uh, I don't want to sate the tadpole, but I don't know what uh, the importance, how important this is or what the outcome of that's going to be. If all of Faerun is in danger, I'd be willing to do it to save the world, but I just, long-term side effects, you know? I'm scared to do so. And I'm not going to look up the solution, and I don't want anyone to tell me what's going to happen if I do, or what the long-term thing is. So that will spoil it. No spoilers, please. I have three Mind Flayer Parasite specimens. Okay. Why do I have so many? I don't know. <clears throat> Send these to you. So I can free up some inventory space. Reinforce Greatsword. Okay. 2d6. It's a great sword. I'll send that to Karlak as well. Send to Karlak. Draw leather gloves. Karlak is just going to be a pack mule. Let's send these to camp. Rotting. Why am I? Why do I continue to rot? Is it the sheep? I think it's the sheep. It's got to be the sheep. Hello, Gandrel. Ah, stranger. Forgive the aroma. You catch a waft of something foul. Metallic and sickly sweet. Powdered iron vine. An old hunter's trick. Can we have some money for dinner? Twice before making a meal of me. Maybe. You're a monster hunter. If the sheep are evil, I'm yes. surprised. I thought all girl were vagrant cutthroats. Hmm. <laughs> I knew you were a jackass, but a racist. I'm shocked. Hmm. Huh. Uh, pardon, but who or what is a girl? A mystical and dangerous people. We travel the land, never settling in one place. We steal your chickens, curse your crops, seduce your daughters. Your friend here has heard it all, I'm sure. Now, I wish I had. And you would happily boast that? Folk think my people now, where possess. have I heard that one before? Unless I am a simple wanderer, a simple wanderer and monster hunter. But I'm no witch doctor or cutthroat. Hmm. So, what monster are you hunting? Something terrifying, no doubt. Dragon? Cyclops? Kobold? Nothing so dramatic. I'm hunting for a vampire spawn. Oh. His name is Astarian. But I fear he's gone to ground. I hope the hag of these lands can help me flush him out. If I can afford her blood price. Hmm. <laughs> Only a spawn. Pity. Not like it's a real vampire. I don't know. I'm sure a vampire spawn could still rip out your throat if he felt like it. <laughs> he is right, unfortunately. They are only weak when compared to their masters. During the day, we have the advantage. But at night, when they hunt... You'll not find a more deadly quarry. Hmm. <laughs> yes, I'm sure they can creep right up on you. We've all survived so far. Let's focus on that. It would still be wise to post guards at night. The threat is real. Indeed it is. We should do something about this threat. Hmm. We'll be careful, but we should get going. Wait, that's it. We're just walking away. 
This is a starry in the vampire spawn you're hunting. <laughs> Hold on. Mm, I'm gonna pick number one, but number three is really funny. I want to see what happens. What? What? <laughs> it's impossible. You idiot. What have you done? He's not taking you anywhere. There? I'm afraid you're wrong. Yeah, no. <laughs> uh, everyone disliked that. Wait, but I thought everyone hated Astarian. <laughs> Wait, Lazelle approved? <laughs> That's real. She just... Okay, maybe she isn't... Maybe she is being rude. She just loves to hurt people. She likes it when you're mean and hurt people. So it's not just out of ignorance. She really does just like hurting people. Wow. She's our asshole. She's not mine. You can have her. Wait, that's it. We're just walking away. I said Gobble we'll be... Gobble. That's very nice of her. <laughs> I said we'll be careful. Now let's go. Fine. But if this comes back to bite us, it's on your head. Go in peace, my friends. I pray our paths cross again. That's my better bloody not. What's my relationship with Astarian now? It must be in the negatives now, huh? Approval? Yeah. Oh, uh, relationship is neutral. Character has no strong feelings. Yeah, it's definitely it's leaning way. negative, though. Lazel. He hates me more than Lazel. Wow. Gail really likes me. Well. I'd love to, thanks. Well, these things have stayed interesting. Hmm. Dragon root. Swift as my feet can carry me. Do 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 So he's working with the hag. Fresh, sweet-smelling water gurgles gently below. Mm, nope. I know better than to drink from a hag's well. Three turns, okay. That's not too bad. All the Anki need therapy. And their queen, a guillotine. <laughs> I'd like to say you're wrong, but you're not. I don't want a crumb left on that plate, girl. Auntie Ethel, please. Water shouldn't smell sweet. One more bite, and this pie is gonna come back up to say hello. Don't make me get the wooden spoon. You're eating for two. Hags so well, that ain't well. It. Ooh. Who is this? A friend of yours? No. No, I don't know him. Come now. Aren't you going to introduce yourself? Never, ter t never tell a fae your name. I'd rather know who this woman is first. You Keep know what they say. Hags well, hags well. Dish, I don't like busybodies. Gods, grant me patience. Eat up, Marina. I won't say it again. Force feeding is probably one of the most, like, creepy things to me. <laughs> like, in terms of horror tropes. Hmm. Uh, we missed out on introductions. Who are you? I have many names, Petal. But Aunt Ethel will do. People in dire need travel from all over Faerun to see little old me. And I do my damnedest to help them. And you, Petal, well, you need a lot of help. Mm. That wriggler swimming in your brain juice is a bit of an inconvenience, isn't it? Everybody wants something. Hmm, that's none of your concern. No, but it is yours. And if I were you, I would be very concerned. I can tell you're almost done cooking. You know, you could turn just like that. What do you say? Want me to take care of the little bugger? Depends on the price. Well, 
That depends on the job. Removing a parasite is no small feat. But I like you, Petal. So I'll only ask for something small. One of your pretty little peepers. I'll pluck it from your head. Kiss it for luck. I don't like that. Back in it goes. Won't take but a moment. I don't want her to do that anything to my, my eye. Price. Nothing more, nothing less. You're gonna put something in it. Hmm. No, if you were to just remove it, I'd be fine, but you're gonna do something with the eye. You want one of my Ice eyes? Cream. Ice cream? <laughs> you want one of my eyes? Why? I'm afraid that's my business, Petal. It's nothing nefarious, though. I promise. No, you wouldn't consider it so. Will my sight be damaged? A touch, but sure, you have two eyes in your skull, don't you? No need to be precious. She's not wrong. That's a poor bargain. I'll try my luck elsewhere. Ethel, can I please? Quiet, you've had enough. Why do all break. these NPCs want to inflict ocular trauma on us? Oh. And you, my door is always open, Petal. Aunt Ethel is here for you. I presume because then you can be indebted to them. I don't like where she teleported that girl somewhere. Hello, sweetness. You going to give me one of those precious peepers? Hmm. No. Ta ta, Petal. Come see Auntie soon. That woman that you just pushed away. I'm gonna. I'm gonna save her. I don't care. I should have asked about the woman. I'm going to save her. Where's she at? The fireplace isn't real. What's hidden behind it? The fireplace is fake. What? Oh, it's all an illusion. You blink and the wilderness changes. A swamp, stinking and insidious, assaults your senses. Ooh, she's invisible. Okay. Red caps, there they are. Those were the sheep. Yeah. They were illusory. All right, let's ice arrow. Let's get over here. And where was she? She was like here. So let's uh, acid arrow over here. Right there. Okay, she's not there anymore. Don't know where she went. Okay. Hmm. Illuminates. Let's do dancing lights. Just to have a little bit of light there. Third time is the charm. Jeepers creepers. She's after your peepers. She is, most indeed. Let's heal Will. And bonus to attack rolls and saving throws. Let's climb up here. Astarian? Astarian! Can we hide? Cunning action, hide. We'll do it my way. Right in the daylight. And... Let's go on up. They're probably gonna see him. Yeah, okay. Then let's dash. Behind here? Yes, behind here. This is my time. Uh, mutton yesterday, mutton today, and blimey, if it don't look like mutton again tomorrow. We're eating mutton for dinner, Gabo. Let's see, jump here, and can we climb this? Yes. Let's get the high ground. Oh, 
Karlak. Let us rage, shall we? And climb up here, because we're going to be doing some jumps, we are. We're going to be jumping on some fools. And Gale, you also get the high ground. Disadvantage on ability checks and saving throws using charisma. That's not too bad. Talk to me. Wait, no, Gale. Uh, you want to cast mage armor on yourself. Yes, there we go. Mage armor. Oh, you can't have armor equipped. Ah, shit. Okay, m mirror image then. Oh, man. Okay. That's okay. I think having this equipped is better. All right. That's not so bad. Frontliners, get on up there. So let's give you... Let's do silence right here. No spells shall be cast. At least no uh, verbal spells anyway. Come on. Dash, all right. Come on then. Let's let's see it. Come on, Redcap. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Nothing. That's what. Okay, you're right there. All right. What the heck? Enjoy playing with your new friends. Bye bye. No, come back. I want to fight you. I can't have gone far. Okay, well, she's gone. All right. Um, well then. Let's shove you over there. Come over here. And... Mm, distracting strike. No, let's save our resources. These are just a bunch of red caps. Again. Just a bunch of red caps. It's fine. Arctic inspiration. Bonus action. More red caps are coming. Gain an extra action, a plus two bonus to armor class advantage. Let's use one of these. Do do do. And we'll do just a normal stab. Yeah. Oh, and another stab. Yeah. Hungry for the slaughter. And a Starion is going to go stab. Miss. That won't work. Vampire bite. Uh, biting face should be fine, right? Keep going. Okay. Yeah. It heals them too. That's pretty good. Eldritch Blast! From the top rope! Diving Strike. See, I want to get that guy, though. I can dash as a bonus action, so I'm going to do that, I think. Pretty sure, right? No. Yeah, there we go. Dash. Ah, not enough movement. Damn. Damn. I was hoping to get over here. Okay, it's still cool. From the top rope! No! Reckless attack. No! Boosh! Was that still a miss? Oh. Oh. My lovely. Oh, and her rage ended because she didn't hit anything. Damn. Feels bad, man. All right, firebolt. Again. Okay. Let's hit this man. Saving throws. 
Yeah, let's burn, 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 burn. Wait, no, you've got silence. I don't think these boys can cast anything. So we'll bane, we'll bane them. Bane, bane. Mm, there's ones outside, yeah? Somewhere. We'll bane two. And we'll save spiritual weapon for when we need it later. Get close. Smack. Nice. That's good. Nothing will stand in my way. Stab. Stab. Oops. Try something else. But I do. I want to save my resources. That's pretty good. Nice job. Battle favors the fearless. A hundred percent. Oh wait, I attacked the object. I'm dumb. This is my happy place. I'm really dumb. I just I was like, oh, a hundred percent. No, it's not on the red cap. Oof. Yeah, they're real far away. <laughs> they gotta run. Right, and on the red cap. Miss. Here they come, here come the red caps running up the swamp. And a smack. Nice. And the red caps are gonna be on their way, I'm pretty sure. Bone cap. Lethargic. So, you and Lazel. Seems terms. Please don't remind me. But keep your guard up with her. Note. All right, let's go hunt down this hag. Where did you download the mod from Nexus Mods? Hello, Gail, you all right? My condition likes being ignored as little as I do. I must consume another artifact. And soon. I got stuff for you, don't worry. Let's see. Shadowheart. What was it? Aid comfort. No, I had another thing that I wanted to give. It's in my pack. There we go. Water sparkers. Thank you. This is happening uncomfortably frequent, Gale. Good gods. It hardly has any effect. Mr. Have mercy on us all. Oh no. Listen, I need to speak to you, to all of you. It would be unconscionable of me to remain silent. Go on, you're among friends. Uh, don't, don't mind the man who's being tortured, what, five, you know, feet away. I'll just be about to remedy that. You have to know who I was. You have to know who I really am. What I am is a walking shadow of the promise I once held. And what one might call a wizard prodigy. Who from an early age could not only control the weave, but compose it. Much like a musician or a poet. Such was my skill that it earned me the attention of the mother of magic herself. The lady of mysteries. The goddess Mistra. She revealed herself to me and she became my teacher. In time she became my muse. And later even my lover. Yo, get it. Get it, Gale? Hmm. Bold. Few would dare to reduce a goddess to their muse. I am, after all, the villain of the tale. <laughs> we enjoyed each other's company. Body, mind, and soul. But even so, I desired more. You see, no you matter how powerful a wizard we mortals can become, 
We never scratch more than the surface of the weave. Mistra keeps us in check. There are boundaries she doesn't let us cross. Yet, every time I was with her, I stood on the precipice, gazing into the wonders that lay beyond. I sought to cross her boundaries. <laughs> that man is having a time. Um... This man had relations with a god and wasn't satisfied. Hubris. Hubris. He, he got what was coming to him, honestly. He could have had it all. How exactly did you try to cross those boundaries? I tried to convince her. I pouted. I pleaded. I swore my ambition was only to serve her better. She only smiled and told me to be contented. As you should have been. Conceivable as it seems to me now, I shared a bed with a goddess, yet I wasn't satisfied. So I sought to prove myself worthy to her instead. We come now to the crux of my folly. Shall I share the story behind it, or would you rather head straight to its sordid finale? Maybe in a different area? I would love to do this somewhere else. Hmm. I'm intrigued. Tell me all. Very well. Here goes. Once upon a very long time ago, a mighty lord lived in a tower. A flying tower, to be precise. I'll save his history for another time, but the gist of it is that he sought to usurp the goddess of magic so that he could become a god himself. Ah, oh, was that you? He almost managed, but not quite. And his entire empire, Netheril, came crashing down around him as he turned to stone. The magic that was unleashed that day was phenomenal. Roiling like the prime chaos that outdates creation. Even the weave itself could not withstand the onslaught. It fractured, then shattered, and all magic was lost Wait, to the mortal realm. Please, stop. Until the day please. Mistra returned. She restored the weave, reuniting all its scattered shards. Or so I thought. Until, in the course of my studies, I learned of a book. Netherese tome in which a piece of the fractured weave had been sealed beyond her reach. What if, I thought, what if, after all this time, I could return this lost part of herself to the goddess? Hmm. <laughs> I guess you've ruled out flowers and chocolates altogether then. You know me. My gestures can never be grand enough. I was certain that this deed of raw power, draped in romance, would convince Mistra to take me by the hand and welcome me into her hitherto forbidden domains. I was mistaken. I obtained the fabled book and took it into my study. As for what happened next... Here. Place your hand over my heart. Let me show you. You feel the tadpole quiver as you realize Gale is letting you in, into the dark. Oh. You see through Gale's eyes, staring down the corridors of a dread memory. A book bound and suddenly opened. Inside there are no pages, only a swirling mass of... The Necronomicon? Pulses. Its teeth, its claws, it's unstoppable as it digs through and becomes part of you. And gods, is it ever hungry. What is it? What do you see? Don't look. Don't... Gods, why show me this? I'm sorry, but I had to. After all, this is only the beginning. Well, thank you for being honest. This netherese blight, this orb, for lack of a better word, is balled up inside my chest. And it needs to be fed. As long as I absorb traces of the weave from potent enough sources, it remains quiet. Were it ever to fully destabilize, however. Hmm. 
You'll die. Rather worse, actually. I will erupt. I don't know the exact magnitude of the eruption, but given my studies of Netherese magic, I'd say even a fragment as small as the one I carry, and a level a city the size of Waterdeep. Okay, so you've got a nuke carrying around in your chest. All right. Don't. Hmm. Don't. Is there nothing we can do? You might chance upon a king's collection of magical artifacts around the corner. We might cross paths with a miracle around the bend. Then again, we might not. All of this. It must feel like a betrayal. Say the word, and we'll part ways. I don't see it as a betrayal at all. I can see why you would want to keep that under wraps. Hmm. Stop. Please. Please. If we were to part ways, where would you go? Once I'd step out of the protective aura of the artifact, it wouldn't be long before the Absolute overtakes me. I'd never let that happen, so I'd aim for a swift end. I would consume some midnight tears and venture as deep into the you underdark as I possibly could. Ha ha. And we're here with you. Until I cloud my eyes for a ha, ha, ha. bit of luck, ha. I managed to make it oh, to my mind flare <laughs> colony, so that when the orb erupts, one loud last song of vengeance would reverberate through the dark. Wouldn't be a heroic end, but coarsely poetic enough in its justice. I love Gale. Even if he were to die and explode, he would want to do it in a place where it would only do some good. Please. We've come this far together and we'll continue on together. That is how it will be. That is a great relief. Oh, a great relief indeed. You truly are a soul that steals my own. From all my new rallied heart, I thank you. I thank you all. I understand if you stand against me, I'm humbled if you stand with me. Either way, I will do my best not to let you down. Hell yeah. I stand at a precipice. But if you do not give up hope, neither shall I. I'll fight. I'll resist as long as I can. Now, even I am tired of the sound of my own voice. Let us venture forth. I love you, Gale. You're the best. All right, now let's see what this nonsense guy screaming is all, all about. So, we've got a traveling nuke, uh, a traveling person who prays to the goddess of darkness and death and pain, uh, someone who's just straight mean, a traveling engine, a vampire, let's see, now, so there's like three, three things that need to be fed, and a warlock whose patron we have yet to know about. To be fair, I'd rather listen to Gale over Don't Look, Stop, Please. <laughs> No. I can't decide whether to romance him or ask Terry on. You are as thick as they come, sweetness. Hello. This is my personal playhouse, and you don't have an invite. Get out! Hmm. Tell me where Marion, uh, my Marina is. Has that Wriggler eaten your brain already? Leave. Oh, you'll end up in tonight's stew. It'll go nicely with Marina. She's already marinating. <laughs> okay. Only Astarian needs the invite, actually. Standing mirror. What's that? As you edge closer to the mirror, a pale face appears, contorted in fear. Fists slam against the mirror's surface again. And again. Oh, God. My sweet Callum, whose beloved us, but his beauty never fade. She traps somebody in a mirror. Um. Hmm. If you couldn't be a bard, what class would you play as? Probably paladin. Or, um, cleric. Uh, or Warlock, actually. Warlock is the next bard-ish thing. See the shadowed outline of a figure. Shall I put them out of their misery? It might be a blessing. Hmm. 
Then again, maybe killing the hag will break the curse. I have been baned. Permanently. Huh. <laughs> well then. Yeah, I thought something might happen. Broke a mirror. Yeah, that's seven years bad luck. <laughs> that's true. That's really true. Seven years. Hags, always a monkey's paw. Yeah, so I presume these are the other people who haggled with the hag. So um, that is why I'm not going to haggle with the hag, because there's always a cost. The payment comes due. Haggled, yeah. Don't look. Don't My darling Macron. She wished for the mind of a genius, but that silly head crossed me. Hmm. She wished for a mind of a genius. Get it? Get it? Because she's smart. Not that smart, apparently. Maybe I do. Don't look. Don't. Hmm. Watered, watery eye. This poor dear wished never to lay eyes on her family again. I guess killing her does do that. My dearest Efren, he begged me to hold the deadly disease that ravaged A lot of these are just killing them. This is just killing. I, d I want my disease gone. All right, kill. Well, actually, we might be able to sell save him. Hold on. Do I have, like, lesser restoration? I don't think I do. Don't! Don't! don't. Warding bond. No. Grease, magic armor. No. Hmm. Oh, well, maybe I'll find something. Don't look. Whispering mask. Don't. Hello, sir. You feel crushing waves of fear as the presence within the door recoils. It can't let people through, not again. No time to chit chat. I'm here to kill the hag. A scene appears in your mind. Two paladins and a cleric marching through the door, shrouded in the glow of the divine. Weapons brandished, they charge into the hag's lair. Screams of terror pierce the air. You let them in? Naughty. They did a good job making That's her look creepy. For each. You're mine for 30 more years, Petal. She looks like a like a puppet from Labyrinth or like um the Chris the uh, Dark Crystal. Hmm. All right, is there another way in? You see an image of blue skies and sunshine as the door shudders a warning. Run. Oh, the door's trying to protect us. Oh my god, this door must be somebody the hag cursed. If I kill the hag, you'll be free. Nice. You see the hag. She walks through the door. Another illusion. Shimmering. The lightest touch of hope brushes your mind as the presence within retreats. Kill the hag breaks the curse. Lauren, what's up? No, no, don't look. Mustn't look, mustn't see. Hmm. Smile as he twitches and whimpers. That's a Lazel option. Are you all right? I see it. What's to come? Me, dead, dead. Flesh rotten, bone shining. 
Hey, look at me. No. No! Can't stop! Can't! Gods, don't hurt me! Oh, please, 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 please! You're safe with me, I swear. No! No! Monster! Please. For mind dripping! Flesh Please. Healing, mind flayer! Oh, he sees it. And roar, no. Hmm. Alright, we'll step away. Mind flayer! Yeah, he sees it too. No intention of letting that happen. Oh, wait! A wait. thief who tried to steal from Auntie. Now the good little pet don't scars my look. home. Don't! My gentle Lauren. He wished to Stop. know what was to come. Please. Please! Ah, so you turned him into an hourglass. Oh, ironic. Feel the barest hint of life from within the door. Okay, so I can just walk through. Yes? Yeah! Don't all right. Look. Okay. This looks like a battle arena. Yep, there are some people here. Mask of Vengeance. Yeah, so I, we saw those masks earlier. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get everybody ready. Can we jump up here? Nope. Too high. Carlac? Yep, Carlac. Will. Oh! Whoop, high ground. We've been spotted. Let's see. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Yeah. Nice. Okay. So much for peace. I'm gonna get ready to do a little bit of holding of people. 60%. 50%. It's that one. I can't tell. I'm out of range. Well, let's do a bit of fairy fire then. Hi, ya! Alright. Man, upping my charisma would have been a bit better in that regard. That's fine. Estarian! You are gonna cutting action dash to go and stab that one. Advantage, all right. Assassinate. Oh, what? But it said you could. Oh. Okay, hide, I guess. It doesn't account for the mud? That's silly. I think it should. Yeah, I thought it would let me, like, I thought it took into account the mud. Alright. Well, that's fine. It really should. I feel like it should, like, reduce. Maybe someone can make a mod for that. Let's jump, then. Yaw! Bane. Nope. Let's do... Let's see, how much are you? 15. Let's do a guiding bolt. There it is. Hmm, low. Uh, then let's dash. Hag's pawn. Alright. You can see it, your calculations of movement should factor in, yeah. They see him. Hiya! Okay, Carlac. Let's see. Oh, can you not rage? What do you have? What's going on? Why can't you rage? What do we do? Huh. Alright, let's throw a javelin then. 
throw. Yeah. <laughs> well, that works. Did I jump? Oh, it's probably, yeah, from the jump. I see. It's still the, the turn, the same turn, I think. All right. Fireball. Ooh, no, that's mud. I was going to say, ooh, grease. No, it's not grease. Ignis. I guess that was on the surprise round. Eldritch Blast! And... Too high. Alright. Guess we're staying down here. Curse of Regret. Okay, they're both saved. Good. Hmm. Frightened. Cannot move. Frightened entities have disadvantage on ability checks and attack rolls. Okay. In that case, we'll just shoot a normal shot. Hey, that's pretty good. 90% while frightened. Pew! And Victor, you will... Inspire Astarian! And... Dash on up. Since you're not going to be able to attack. There we go. Just to get in there. A starion! You're gonna stab. Nice! Bardic inspiration coming in handy. Whoops. No, I meant to. I just clicked on the ground. Oops. Boosh! Missed. And she's frightened. And she's hurt. Okay. Can't move. So let's cure wounds on ourselves. I think they're trying to break free of the hag's curse. The, those that's what those wisdom saves are. Alright! Rage! From the top rope! Boosh! There we go, finally! Karlak, my girl, doing some work. Alright. Now, for you, Gale, let us... I don't want to spend too many of my second level spell slots. So we are going to go zap that person. Low chance, but worth a try. Nice! Wait, no, that's a Shadow Heart! Why did I shoot Shadow Heart? Oh shit! Why did I do that? Um. Wait, wait. I couldn't. I couldn't tell. Because ah oh, shit. On the victor's path. Oh god. Well then, I did. I couldn't tell because of the dark. It's a dark cave, and oh jeez. What have I done? Hello, Isabella Ooze. Thank you for the raid. I accidentally shot my own cleric, <laughs> not realizing that she was my cleric. Oops. We're playing Baldur's Gate, and I shot my cleric because I thought she was her. an enemy. Do you take it out or leave it in? Which is better? Uh, well, luckily it's it's a magical shot, so there's nothing to take out or leave in. I won't do it. Oh, <gasps> they're saving to not fight us. She oh. can just heal herself. It's fine. <laughs> she can, yeah, she can just heal herself. She's a cleric, you know. Just heal yourself, silly. It's the circle of friendly fire. Do I have anything to? I can throw a potion at her. Uh, hopefully. Uh, that worked in early access. Throw. 20%. No, I'm not going to try it. Nice. Uh, let's... I'm going to disengage and go help. 
Shadow Heart. I'm gonna give her a healing word. Oopsie. Second level. Sorry about that. There we go. <laughs> Sorry. I didn't mean to. Uh, what if I, like, go behind? No. Aw, oh, can't... Can't be threatened. Okay. Okay, so I just go to attack normally. All right. Ouch. This is hurting a lot. Uh... You've got a bonus action, so... Spiritual weapon? Oh, I'm using a lot of spell slots. Here, potion of healing. There we go. Don't make me hurt them. Aw. I want to non-lethal these guys, actually. Because of the fact that they're, like, trying to save. So... You've got 21 health. Just gonna hit you. Normally for now. Death is but a word away. And you. Let's Eldritch Blast you. There we go. And go up to try and do a bit of non-lethal stabbing. <laughs> I'm gonna non-lethal them so that once we kill the hag, once we kill the hag, we can break them of their curse or take their mask off. How much damage is this gonna do? Up to 10. Okay, this won't kill him, but it's certainly not, it's certainly gonna hurt. Nice. Okay. Now, we go up here. With haste. Okay, let's shove you. It's not very far. Shove. Nice. I've missed this. And how much is this? No, let's do non-lethal. Passives. Non-lethal, there we go. Non-lethal attack. Do not. Okay. We've got, do we have non-lethal on? Yes, non-lethal attack. All right, sweet. Skadoosh. Knocked out, sweet, good. And drink a potion. I won't. And you gonna run over here? Okay, we've got one rage left. And dash. Super fast. Double dash. Okay. And you'll just stay there, I think. On the victor's path. Non-lethal strike. Ah! Nice. And you have non-lethal, but I'm pretty sure that doesn't count for ranged, yeah? Unless it does. Chat, help me out. Does non-lethal work for ranged attacks, like a bow? No, 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 okay. All right, thanks for letting me know. Hi-cha! And... Rules is written, no. I'm gonna follow rules as written then. Go. Shove, not work. Non-lethal, please. Nice. Okay. 
All right. Whew. I'm worried. Here, I'm going to take it off. I'm going to take the mask off, put it over here. Cannot be unequipped. Oh, shit. There we go. Oh, no, they die anyway. Oh. Drop. There we go. Oh, man. Dang, that sucks. Where's Green Arrow's boxing glove arrow when you need it? Yeah, her mind collapsed. Should mind my step. Hold on. I'm gonna try something. I'm ready. What if? I'm going to cast one Cure Wounds and then remove their mask. Unless Cure Wounds is going to wake them up. Let's quick save. Okay, and then if I loot... Yeah, they just die. Damn, that sucks. <sighs> I need to spell Curse Options? I, not on me at the moment. I don't have uh, lesser restoration or anything. Damn. Your art is a huge inspiration. I'm, gl I'm glad. You shot her. Do you take it out or... Oh, I already read that. Remove curse is a third level spell. Yeah, then we don't have that until next level. Damn. All right. Well, is that blood? It's... No, never mind. At the very least, they'll die as who they are. Whoa! Crimson War gifting fifty subs. Wow, that's a lot. Thank you. That's incredibly that? generous. Thank you so much. Mm. Wow. Freshened up and ready to fight. What's inside? That's extremely generous of you. Hopefully we don't run into any crimson wargs. <laughs> But thank you so much. I don't know what to say. Wow. That's a lot of gifts. Let's get these masks out of our inventory because I don't want them. They seem bad. Studded leather looks pretty neat though. Yeah, that's very generous. What? One second. I'm going to be right back. I am going to go... Use of the bathroom. I need a back bathroom break. In the meantime, uh, Gabo, you will keep chat company, and I'll be right back. As you wish, Master Cat.
All right. I got a fruit roll up. Gabo, have you Wait, been behaving? Were we not knocking them out to come back to them after we dealt with the hag? Uh. That is an idea, but methinks that removing their mask, killing them, thinks that it's attached to the mask and not the hag. What flavor? It's the rainbow one. Hmm. Oh, I should mute myself, actually. Booga booga booga. The mask demands sacrifice. Yeah. Have my attention. Immediately. Still alive. The trap. Dance. That's a lot of noxious fumes. <clears throat> hmm. Okay, what do we do about all this? Peculiar flower. What happens? If we just shoot it. Wow, good thing Carlac wasn't standing there. So it's just gonna light it aflame then. Hmm. Maybe Carlac. Maybe you could jump. Like here. No, 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 stop, party, stop, party, party, stop. God damn it. Ah, it looks like we gotta go into turn based mode. The pathing on the NPCs is quite. <laughs> Did we win? Kaboom? No. Kaboom. Indeed. <laughs> Pretty lights. A thought. If this is a tavern, should we change hydrate to something like Sin the Barkeep a drink? Ooh. I do like that. Yeah. I, I sh really should theme it more tavern-like, shouldn't I? Because that's fun. Mm, so tasty! Is the party gonna come? Oh, thank you! Five leisure for the well done steak! Oh heck, my first gifted sub! Found you through Dan Jones and Dragons. Have, have been loving your Baldur's Gate 3 screams. Looking forward to watching more. Oh, thanks! Yeah, Dan Jones and Dragons is a fun time. Yeah. Alright, let's jump over here. There we go. <laughs> Luckily, everyone can make this jump, like at the bare minimum. Got to press on. I almost tried to select everyone like a, Attention. Toast, toast. like a uh, real-time strategy just now. What's next, I wonder? 
There we go. Come on, just jump over. Everybody else, just jump over, please. Be wary. This place there we go. Trapped. There we are. And is Lazel here? Yes. Okay, now separate everybody. No one stopped me yet. And we'll Karlak? If you could just jump your way over here and fail your perception to see those traps. How do we disarm them though? Please Am I gonna have to disarm them with a disarming kit? Ah shit. I need detect traps or something. Uh step carefully. Yep. There's a trap. Let's see. Jump. Please detect it. You've got high wisdom. Okay, one. Victor, disarm it. Let's see. Go. Ten. I can do a ten. Easy peasy. Disarmed. So... That one's disarmed, but it hasn't gotten rid of the noxious fumes. How many noxious fumes are there? God. There's a lot. Okay. Here's what I'm gonna do. Firstly, everybody jump over here. Including Gale. Lost in thought. Lost in thought. Because we're gonna do something crazy. Oh. Nope. Okay. Yeah. Trap. This place is more dangerous than I thought. Yep. A starion. I'm gonna jump as well. Low strength oh, pain. Dear. Someone's left a trap out for us. Yep, just don't walk into it. Easy. Will Sharp as ever. Okay. And here's what we're gonna do. Gale, for the wicked, I see. Yeah, and do your thing. Featherfall. Turn-based mode. Then, we're going to jump. We're all gonna jump down. Pass the traps into the safety. Where it's safe. And just completely forego the noxious fumes. Like so. Yeah! Nice. Portion is warranted here. Wonderful. Let's go one by one. Lazel. Jump. Jumper. Sure. Just as I expected. Completely bypassing all of the traps and all of the noxious fumes. But is it really safe? No, never in a hag's lair. Jumpy jump. All the way down there. Astarian. If you're wondering why I'm saying it like that, it's because of that that one meme that's like Belial Behemoth Beelzebub. You know, that one where it's like a dog usually accompanied with a montage of dogs making silly faces. Asmodius Satanus Lucifer I've got a long road ahead. Yeah. Tread. Be cautious. Yep, be cautious. Gale Shadow Heart. Uh that way. And make room for the final party member. Which is a hero Will. There we go. All right. Can't afford to stay idle. Action meets reaction. World. And then I think we can jump to this last zone over here. What about the Astorian, Astarian thing? I know. Goes year zero, not a meme. Yeah. 
Yeah, year zero. That's, yeah, whatever it's called. But it's used as a meme sometimes. Never a dull moment. Okay, let's attach everybody once again. And jump. Hop. Walk on in. Ancient abode. Perception failed. On what? Don't know. And turn. On, let's go. Jump. Saddle up. The pride of the gate. Jump. Don't want you walking too much to try and jump there. Because, uh... We don't want you stepping in the noxious fumes. I have the magic touch. Nice. Hup. And there. Wonderful. All right. Good job, Gale. Your spells have come in handy yet again. I would have wished to live in more interesting. There. In the Hello, Hag. You come to my home interfere in my business and now have the gall to face me in the heart of my lair you petulant bollocks <laughs> I'll rip your spine out your asshole I'll use your blood to spice my foul you. language for a granny I'll keep you alive until I've sucked the marrow from your bones and then I'll bring you back and do it all over again. An auntie like you shouldn't use Just language like that. Here, please. You want the girl so bad. Fine. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Okay. Can we put out that fire though? Hmm. 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 Let's see. That's too much damage. Hmm. Why is the girl important again? She's not. She's just an innocent person, and I'm trying to save her. On the move. Let's see. So we can't tell which the which one the real one is. So we'll just shoot. Ah, uh, shoot. Those flowers are trapped for sure. Cannot be an inanimate en entity, okay. Alright. Let's do... What? Pew! Still breathing, despite everything. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see, what can we do? What can we do? Sleep is not gonna work because she's a fae. Dissonant whispers? No. Fairy fire? No. Not consistent enough. Hold person? Must be a humanoid. She's a fae. Vicious mockery! No, it's pretty bad. All of these are pretty bad, honestly. All right, I'm gonna dash in. Just don't step on the flower. And... Ocean of sharpness? How long does this last? Coat your weapon in oil. It gains plus one bonus to damage and attack rolls. Overcomes resistance of non-magical. All right, let's do it. And how long does that last? I wonder. Doesn't say. Uh, 
Uh, there we go. Until long rest. That's pretty... No, that's non-lethal. Uh, let's get rid of that, actually. Boop. No, we're killing her. <laughs> it says on the weapon? Ten turns. Okay, ten I'll turns is good. Okay, so what happens if I cool it? I'm gonna quick save because I don't want to hurt this anymore, but I'm gonna hopefully cool it down. If I can get rid of the burning. Yes, okay. It's frozen. Uh, movement speed is reduced, okay. I was wondering why I was red. Okay, the fire is out. Stay focused. Heading there. And now, spiritual weapon! Let's do a maul. Yeah, the reason it's red is because whenever something is slowed, there's like a filter that goes over it that makes it red towards the bottom. Man, that hag has a lot of health. That might just be an illusion, though, so I'll not spend a spell slot on it. I'll just get close. Let's run over here. Start heading towards these hags. The blade will not bend. Finding my way. Let's try Eldritch Blast. What is your AC? 17. Yeesh. Um... Attack, yes? Yes. Oh, nice. Clever clubs. Is that the real one? I can't tell. <gasps> Rage! Ah! This is your last one. Let's hope you can use it right. Use it well. Yeah! Sandra. Man, if I got a dollar for, like, every time someone asks if, like, how I have so many party members, I'd be rich. I could quit streaming forever. Oof. Ow. Why going for Gale? Why go for the wizard first? Oh, it's because he's squishy. Might be worth putting mod in the title. Yeah, well, I also put backseat in the title, and people still somehow do it. Here, I'll put mod in there as well. Oh, God. I've been held personed. Ooh. Okay, so she's teleported Marina down here. She doesn't seem to be hurting her, so that's good. Does Dispel Magic work in, uh, exist in Baldur's Gate 3? I would presume so. Okay. Uh, hold person. That's okay. Let's hide. And then sneak attack. Sneak attack you. Nice. How about some bit tongue? <laughs> Thank you for the bits. Tongue. Okay, let's do a little bit of mirror image. And a drink. And do 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 warding bond. Oh, that's not a concentration spell. It's second level though. It is touch as well. Let's do silence. You knew that was the real one and not the girl? Oh, did I sh I think I perceived, maybe? I'm not sure. 
I wasn't quite paying attention. Let's silence. Did I actually shoot at the girl? Let me see. Hold on. You shot Marina. I didn't know that. I need to pay more attention at what I shoot. Sorry for the double stream thing. I was um I was trying to see if I did. If I did shoot Marina. Oops. Makes back. sense though. <laughs> yeah, it worked in my favor. Yeah. All right, let's No, I can't hold person. What am I doing? Bane. Target too far. Alright. At least it wasn't your cleric. Yeah, that would be bad if I shot my cleric or something. Alright. Spiritual weapon. Let's fly. Over here. Not enough resources. What do you mean? Still have movement, don't you? There we go. Okay, I guess you don't. Weird. I don't know why it wouldn't Fuck let me yes. just fly. Fuck yes. Okay. Diving strike. No, that's not high enough. Hmm. Can you jump up there? No. That's okay. We're gonna go in and smash. Rah! Reckless! Oh, damn. No, your rage is gonna go away. Oh, man. What if I go over here? Can I push you into the hole? Yeah! I lost the loot, but you know what? Well Easy raised. game. Yeah, not as bad as it could have. GG. You busted! You ruined it! You ruined everything! Oh? I I'm sorry. I was trying to help. But making everything worse? Ethel was going to bring my husband back, back from oh. the dead, and now I'll never see him again, because of you! Hags don't work for free. What did you promise her? This. Just a bit longer and my child would have been born. Oh. And all this, all this would have been over. With hags, nothing is ever over. This was the best chance I had. For me and my baby. Auntie Ethel promised to give this child a good life. Teach them magic even. More than I could have done. Aww. Don't sell yourself short. You can raise this child. I always wanted to be a mother. I just never thought I'd do it alone. Now I'll have to drag Connor's coffin all the way home. It's the only way this child will ever meet their father. I hope you're happy. Oh, very well. Being a hero is a thankless job sometimes. Might be useful. Hmm. Well, at least there's this loot, right? Pork loin, pig's head. I wonder what she would have dropped. Let's see. BG3 hag loot. Auntie Ethel. What would she have dropped? Oh, apparently you can trade with with Auntie Ethel. Pr 
probably would have gotten this stuff off of her if you killed her. Corellian's Grace. Looks like it's a staff. Spell thief. A bow. Interesting. Hmm. Like, a thousand gold and some nice items. Damn. Is it worth the trouble, though? I'm gonna save. Hold on. Killed on T. Ethel the easy way. When you kill her, you don't get all that? Hmm. Staff of Crones. What's in the chest? Open up. Whoa, rings. Sometimes Sparta is the easy way. <laughs> Sometimes Sparta is the easy way. All right, let's try it. Let's try to kill her just to see what... Uh, this is a big waste of time because I already killed her. But let's still see. But it's fun, yeah, and it's my playthrough, so I can do what I want. Fuck you, I can do what I want! <laughs> Time to be a loot goblin. Ray of Frost. A zoop. And can't uh, run back, so... Let's just run forward. And spiritual weapon, once again. Let's put it here, actually. Not enough space. Boop. This is my time. Got to concentrate. And sacred flame. Clubs. Now we can end the turn. And command. Grovel. Grovel. No. Just blast. And run. In position. Witch Bolt actually did some work here for me, because when she would teleport and make clones, the light would reveal the real one. Interesting. Yeah, I can see Witch Bolt being useful here. In a very niche scenario, is it useful? Isn't there a thing that reveals illusions that clerics have? Moonbeam, is it? Hum. Pretty sure that's the real one. That's how it was last time, right? Yeah, there we go. Thank the gods. Sweet. Moonbeam. Yeah. Fairy fire? Yeah, I'm pretty sure moonbeam. Fairy fire doesn't really reveal illusions as much as it just makes things easier to hit. Lots of hold persons. Sneak. And is that you? Yes. Ah. Oh. What now? What now? Dissonant whispers, low chance. Can I help you? 
No. Can detect thoughts, but that's not gonna help me here. <laughs> Second level sleep. Pretty sure she's immune as well. Faye. Can you tell me anything about Faye? No? Okay. Can I throw something, actually? Let's throw. Let's throw a thing. Let's throw... A poison. 35% chance, but it's a chance. Nice! Oh no, she saved. So then, how is she poisoned, I wonder? So she made the save. But maybe it doesn't matter. Hmm. And let's inspire Carlac so you can get out of that. Guiding Bolt. It splashes on impact? Okay, neat. Ooh, there we go. And she's Guiding Bolted. So now, advantage on such and such, such as, say... No, that's not right. I don't want to do it with an Eldritch Blast, though. So, for this turn, you'll mirror image. And for this turn, you will mirror image. I could grease, actually. Let's grease. Yeah. Try getting out of that. And let's move out of the way. And drink. Marina. Let's fly. Whee! No. Why, why is this? Why is this? I don't get it. Is it a bug? There we go. Oh, it just uses the whole movement. I see. Okay. No longer poisoned. Ha-ha! <laughs> All right. Have at it, everybody. God, the impact sounds so harsh that it, like, it makes me think that it landed, but, uh, not necessarily. Yaw! Nice! How about her, everyone? Okay, I... Can I help action? Help? Nope, can't be help. Zadly, thank you for the raid! Welcome, everybody! Imp raid. Imps! In my tavern! So long as you clean up after yourself. Fairy fire. Hmm, 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 hmm. Yeah, let's fairy fire this. I have, I believe. Yeah. So now she's fairy fired. So long as I remain concentrating, I think I'll be okay. Let's do another Guiding Bolt, shall we? Boosh! Missed. How do you miss? She's right there! With the weave. With the weave! Okay. Let's do... While we have advantage on her, Eldritch Blast. Very nice. Just whittling her down. Man, this is like whenever I make a boss for the... <laughs> for the, um... For the players to fight, they just all gang up on the on the one and just lay in. Wow, crit! Good job, Will. Nice job on the whole person there. Corgo one hundred, Corgo one hundred, Corgo one hundred. Corgo one hundred. Thank you for the bits, Kitsune. Much appreciated. Okay, she's getting up. She's still fairy fired though, so that's good. Try to fight me now, brat. I can because you're fairy fired. Haha! -ha. 
Already providing a lot of value, this fairy fire. Okay, Gale is poison. Okay. Now. Too many hit points. At second level? Oh, there she is. Okay, what if I just like... Ah, too far. What if I move forward, though? Hmm, 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 hmm. Dissonant Whispers? Does it have to be melee, though? I'm pretty sure it doesn't. If I just move up close a little bit. Yes! Hmm. So... Half damage on save. Okay, that's fine. Bloody clever clubs! Okay. And do I have any potions? Yes. Yes, there we go. Not enough movement. Can I jump over Nya? And then fire at her. Fairy fire, don't fail me now! Nice! One more good hit, we'll do it. Guess what never misses? Gale, my boy! A wizard's work is never done. Pew, pew, pew! Nice. No one back home will ever believe this. All right. You bastard! Yeah, 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 yeah. You ruined it! You I mean, Ethel was going to bring my husband back. We take those. Back from the dead. And now I'll never see him again. Just a bit longer and my child. And more than I could have done. Uh, now. Uh. Alright. So, we saved a person. Um, oh, jeez. We saved a person. She's upset about it, but what are you going to do? Let's go see what's on the hag. <laughs> sorry, sorry guys. Whoa! Yeah, I I mean pushing her is hilarious and an easy way to kill her, but I mean we can't pass up this loot. Hell yeah, damn. That's a lot of stuff. Wowie zowie, and a lot of gold. Yeah, I'm glad I did this. I'm glad I reloaded to fight her. I mean, I guess that's the trade-off, right? Is like, if you just kill him the easy way, you don't get the loot. Scrolls for Gale? No, uh, Gale can't eat these. He has to eat magical items. There we go. That was an auto save, by the way. But he can learn the spells from them. Oh, that's true. Directly. That is true. I forget wizards have to learn spells manually. No time to rest. I keep forgetting about that. Yeah, let's send them to Gale. I was wondering, I'm like, he should have more spells than these. It's because I haven't been writing them down. One with the weed. Let's see. Chromatic orb. What is that? I can't tell. Is it a... Pretty sure that's a conjuration. Burning hands could be good to learn. Yeah, learn spell. Oh, it costs gold? Jeez. Shocking grasp. I don't think I want to learn any of these, really. All right. what now? Yes. Maybe chromatic orb. Hmm. In the character menu at the top of the book, there's an... Little book in the icon. You can do every scroll down. What? It's one click? Then there's a little... Sp you can do every scroll you own from there in one click. But I don't want to do every scroll. I don't want to learn... Yeah, learn more spells. There we go. Yeah, I don't want to learn uh, every single one of these. Tasha's laughter could be good. Hmm. Do you need to learn? No. Because, uh... 
wizards are unique in that they're the only ones who need to actually write down spells, I'm pretty sure. What do you think about the fact wizards can swap prepared spells on the fly? It makes only sorcerers advantage the meta magic. Do you think it's a fair trade off? I think so. Because sorcerer. Meta magic is strong, you know? Uh, there we go. Sleet Storm. Disrupts concentration of spellcasters, douses fires, and creates an ice surface. Ooh. Makes non damaging means of doing it. Raven Feeblement. Deal half damage. Could be good. Yeah, I think this is really the only one I want to learn. Maybe Chromatic Orb. So stars mean that they're evocations, so they cost less to learn. Burning Hands. Yeah, why not? There we go. Yeah, I think it's fair that they can do this, because wizards are kind of quote-unquote vanilla spellcasters. So, if they're going to be the best spellcaster, I think it's fair that they'd be able to swap them out anytime they want. So, let's watch, swap out Mage Armor for, let's say, Tasha's Hideous Laughter. And Shatter. Let's swap out something for Shatter. Ah, oh, these are all useful, though. Grease was useful last fight. Gust of Wind could be useful. Uh, Grease is like a constant gust of wind, though, that they have to keep making the save. I'm gonna trust Grease and put Shatter there. Yeah, no, I think that's fair, because, like, meta magic has a lot of utilities to it. Can you get extra cantrips as you level up? Yes. If a wizard knows too many spells, they get stuck on level up? I don't know. I hope not. Okay. I totally forgot about that. You know why? Because we never do that when I play tabletop. Because doing that in a video game, sure, it's easy to do with the systems. But when you're doing it in tabletop, uh, it's like you have to remember to do it. Also, your narrator. Thank you. Hey, narrator. What's up? I haven't talked to you in a while. Hope you're doing good. Thanks for the gifted subs. Ah, it's a wand called Bitter Divorce. Or something called Bitter Divorce. Clumps of hair and flesh stick out from the twisted roots that make up the shaft of this wand. Connor is scratched into the surface. Ah, so she was going to bring him back. But in what form, I don't trust. I don't trust it. To camp. Go. Never, never trust the methods of a hag. Your husband is now a stick. Letter from to Ethel. Lego. Letter from Ethel. Pork loin. Earthen bottle. Staff of crones. Oh, it knows. It has ray of sickness. Okay. Hmm. Live worms wriggle beneath the crumbling surface of this half-rotten staff. Merely touching it fills you with a wave of unbearable nausea and a strange longing, as if it's calling out for its like. Yeah, we're gonna sell that. I don't know that I like, unless we give it to Gale. He gets a free ray of sickness. And it recovers on a short rest. Hmm. Yeah, all right, free ray of sickness is not bad. Chance to ensnare target if it's not a plant or a beast. So that that you need that like to hit someone with that for that to proc. So Gale's not going to be hitting anybody anytime soon. What's hiding here? Wicker chest, some potions, missing pelts, wilted dreams, a mother's loathing. Are these all just things in jars? A mother's loathing. A hint of blood lingers in the stopper. It's enough to make your mouth water. Why? It smells like a sleep potion turns sour. Thousands of little legs skitter inside this bottle, seeking an escape. Missing pets. Oh no! 
Oh. Oh. It's tiny little, like, cats and dogs and creatures shrunken down and put into this. Oh, no. Oh, that sucks. Insanity's kiss. That's so evil. Butterflies in the stomach, a traditional brew of ergot and nutmeg, meant to recapture the fluttering thrill of first love. Mm. Lost time. Its seal is dry and cracked with age, yet the clear potion within bears no sign of spoilage. Hmm. I can drink these. Insanity's kiss. Something thrashes in this heavy gourd. Consumed by rage. Heart of stone. Fragments of malachite swirl at the bottom of this potion, coalescing and separating rhythmically. Yeah, I don't trust these potions. A sweet, intoxicating aroma hangs around this bottle. It, remain, it reminds you of home. Broken promises. A parasite swims in the bottom of this bottle, fat with strength. Lover's avarice. A rotten pun, pungency undercuts this potion's otherwise pleasant aroma of roses and honey. Missing pets. <laughs> oh god. Missing pets. Illusory spiders run up and down the creature's body, imposing disadvantage. Ah, okay. Ugh. Okay, so these must be like good offensive potions to throw. Well, to dreams. Something waits for the creature to sleep. It takes 3 to 18 psychic damage during the next long rest. Uh, a mother's loathing. Gain bite until next long rest. Strange. Okay. Hemorhag. Hemorrhage. Hemorrhaged. Ooh. Bleeding from the inside, suffering one, d one to six piercing damage at the end of the turn. All right, lost time. Armor class is reduced by two. <laughs> Can't take reactions. Wow. That's really good to throw at somebody. Oh! Insanity's kiss, hostile to other creatures for the du con uh, condition's duration. Okay. All right. Well, at least we know what they do. A lot of these are negative. So we'll throw, we'll start throwing these at people, I think. Maybe give it to Astarian to throw at people while he's closing the gap. I might use these in, in my game. I really like their effects. Okay, so. Heart of Stone. Resistant to poison damage until rest. Oh, that's pretty good, actually. That's the one good potion. Faltering Will. Disadvantage on Wisdom saving throws until rest. Okay. Broken Promises. Strength is increased by two until the next long rest. Upon resting, strength is indefinitely reduced by one. I see, because it's a promise of strength, and then the promise breaks. Lover's Avarice. Can't drink it? No? Huh. Alright, Carlac. Can I not give it to somebody? There we go. Bugged, must be. Wisdom is indefinitely reduced by one. <laughs> it may well, love is blind, right? You know what they say. And perception is a wisdom skill.
I wonder if you can then cast Remove Curse after the rest. That is a good question. Love is unwise and makes you weak to hold person. Yep. Those are brutal. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Good to throw at people. And I guess this is the exit. That all seems powerful. What can it do once it's extracted? Nothing good can come of it unless it is contained. Why? It might be useful. Who knows? Hmm. Carlac was inspired because she got to smash a thing. I mean, I can be next on the list if she needs to. What's in here? Gods, didn't hear you coming. I know I should head home, but I can't bring myself to leave. Would you say the experience the is better with the whole gang? In a yeah. Barrel of making the journey For me, anyway. All over again. Hmm. I found a bond. I think I can resurrect your husband. What? You can't. I said I think. You feel a surge of power from the wand. The air suddenly tastes acrid. It wants to be used. Hmm. Bring it back. Bring Connor back. Please. Oh. Uh, hold on. I know it's scummy to save scum, but if it goes wrong. Well, he is alive, in a sense. You feel something pull at you. The creature yearns for a master. He's technically revived, in a sense. What have you done to him? Um... So, a hag fulfills her promise. It can never be simple, can it? Oh, this isn't what she promised! It is. I wanted him back, back the way he was, not this! Hmm. This is your husband. Do you want him or not? Connor? Connor! <laughs> I don't even know if he's in there. But he might be. And if he is, I'll find him and bring him back. Hmm. Here's the wand. Good luck to you and Connor. Thanks. But we'll need more than luck. A bloody miracle, more like it. I'll find a wizard or something. Maybe someone in Baldur's Gate can help us. Connor always said you can find anything in that city. Remember? And thank you, I guess. Come on, love. Let's go. Okay, I have some hope. Ethel's wand wasn't the best idea. <laughs> uh, no turning back time now. Ah, says you. I'm gonna see this through. I wanna I wanna see where this goes. I don't know. Maybe this'll teach her an important lesson about finality. Hopefully. So, Starion, which of us would you rather feed on if he had free reign? Oh. Uh, Will. No question. He's strong, fast, and righteous. I'm salivating already. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. You sound disappointed. I'll bite you if you ask. I'm sure you would. Don't sound so eager. 
Why is everyone in this party so horny? Can't give up now. Bread. I'll just smash it. It's just D D. Yeah, yeah. I guess that's true. Tea house key. Potion of animal speaking. Butter bun. Butter bun. Butter bun. Butter bun. White bread. Some potions. Spoiled treacle tart. No thanks. All right. Well, we took care of the hag. It's one less monster to deal with. I bet that'll fit in my pack. Well, it's good to know that uh, Astarian has a taste for the more heroic types. It's good to know. He likes them strong-willed. I get it, strong-willed. Receive condition acid? Okay. All right, where else is there, perhaps? We're still up north. So let's go up north. Tell me, Gail, what is your interest in the astral plane? Time. Or rather, the absence of it. In the astral plane, everything is eternal. It will be my home soon enough. Should Vlakith will it. Hmm. A conversation without in insults involving Lazelle. Never thought I'd see the day. It's for Halsen. It still wants me to search for Halsen in the goblin camp. Maybe I'm not done with the goblin camp, actually. Yeah, so if I go here... It just wants me to look around. Then this other guy twirls his fingers and some light comes out. And the dwarf just stops bleeding. Hmm. Has it even a bump? Enjoying the view. Looking tasty in these new breaches, ain't I? Oh, yeah, those are some. <laughs> they look quite fetching on you. Proper stylish, ain't they? Nicked them off this dwarf we're cooking. Uh, hmm. Uh, the dwarf. Did he have anything on him besides pants? Dunno was already stripped down to his breeches when I got my hands on him. I had a couple of coins in the pockets and some daft poem. But that's all. Hmm. I love poetry. Can I see? Sure you can. But a look's all you're getting. This is the most polite For goblin we've I run know, into. This little roast I was some famous bard. And you'll be sending his last words for a pretty penny. As the symbol glows, power oh. courses Abigail, through Abigail, thank you for the raid. Welcome. Authority. Hmm. Hmm, I think I know him. That's Piltrid the Warbler, the worst bard in Faerun. Hmm. You're wasting your time. A dwarven poetry is worthless. Friends? Let's try friends. Hopefully they don't get mad at me. Boop. Ah, advantage. Nice. Nice. Really? Oh, shite. You might as well use it as bog roll then. <laughs> I'll get back to tending the meat. All right. What did I get? Dwarves poem. A son of Saloon fell here in the dark below, and we sealed his grave in her holy glow. May the full- wait, I gotta <clears throat> read this as a dwarf. A son of Saloon fell here in the dark below, and we sealed his grave in her holy glow. May the full moon never touch the stars once more. May darkness never conquer the moon, moon maiden's door. A note is scrawling in the margins. Found the door under the temple. Think the moon's turn, but which way? A cluster of stars and lunar phases are sketched beneath. Hmm. 
Yeah, that's not bad. Pretty basic, you know, like what I would expect as a, uh, you know, someone's first. It's a typical rhyming scheme, but, you know, not awful. <laughs> Let's see, put this in here. Animal speaking. Greater healing. Push my speed. All right. Alchemist fire and acid file. Throw those in there as well. Let's put all these potions in here. Expecting a sonnet? Well, I don't know. I was exp Oh, look at her dance! Look at she dance! No, do more! Karlak, I want to see you dance! Hold on. She dance. Perform something for the goblins. Karlak, do a dance. Gail, are you proficient with instruments? No. Is anybody in this place proficient with instruments? Nobody? Really nobody else? I'm gonna give you guys actor then. Carlac is adorable. It's got wings. Reckon it can fly? No. Too fat. Let's see then. You're the party bard if someone's going to start in on an instrument that's you, I guess so. With haste. Alright. Oh, they threw some gold at me. Nice. Oh, they threw lots of gold at me. Hell yeah. I'm gonna pick it up off the floor, but... Hmm. Do you know anything about... Ooh! Oh, owlbear cub! Oh. Well, now. You look like a toughen, but have you got smarts, skills, guts? Hmm. All that and more. And you're gonna need it, mate. This ain't your standard dungeon dive, right? This... This is chicken chasing. Oh! Ah! I love... Hmm. Well, for starters, that's no chicken. It's an owlbear. It's got feathers, don't it? <laughs> a beak. Besides, Can't argue with that logic. I reckon it owes us seeing as how it just ate our last chicken. Reckon it owes us a game. You want to hear the rules or not? Hmm. Could be fun. But what is chicken chasing exactly? Only the greatest game since eggs sprouted legs, mate. You just gotta chase the chicken round the calls and through the posts. But that ain't all. Gotta do it quick and alone. Any of your mates step in, you lose. Mm. Time runs out, you lose. Sound easy? It ain't. Better contenders than you have been bristed by the bird. Hmm. Sounds fun. Count me in. Fun? Show a bit of respect, mate. This is serious business. <laughs> Besides, we got to agree stakes before we begin, don't we? Hmm. I have no desire to gamble. I, I want to swap out to have somebody else do it, i.e. my girl. Then you don't want to play. This game ain't for rattle guts that don't believe in their selves. All right. Carlac. Oh, wait, no, Astarian, because you're fast. Well, now. Besides, cocky, eh? Maybe you've got the skill to back it up. 
Let's get a crowd going and find out, eh? We're starting a new game. Move your eyes. All right. Artist Starian, I believe in you. But you got to do it alone. Getting close to the beast. If he bites, bite him back. Okay. Chase that thing. Don't care how pissed off it is. Get the help there. Okay. Uh. Chicken chase. Okay. So then, animal handling. Shit. All right. So I just got to chase it down. Beckon him closer. Oh, I see what I have to do. In it. I see. I have to corral it. Oh. Well, I just lost 300 gold. Well then. To be fair, that chicken played a bribe. That's the game done. Come here. All right, all right, all right, all right. I got this. I got this. Okay, so it's not a matter of speed. It's not a matter of speed. Wonder if the gods are watching me. It's a matter of adjusting and stuff. Oops. Whatever it takes. Positioning, I see, I see. That makes things easier. That's the guy. Okay. Let's try again. Let's try again. Oof! Hard luck, mate. Told you it weren't as easy as it looked. All right. Never a dull moment. Well, if it ain't our fledgling chicken chaser. Want to go again? <laughs> Nothing like it, is there? Come on, then. All right. <laughs> okay. We're starting a new game. Move your eyes. Okay, I might want to go into turn-based mode for this. And Chase Albert. That. Go. Bite. Bite. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Okay, well, I guess uh, animal handling's not going to work here. Oh, jeez. Okay. Ah, shit. So, I gotta push it through the gate, and the gate's over here. Okay, I can do that. I can do that. Is that blood? No, never mind. What path lies before me? And you're looking that way, so if I dash, just go over here, position you like that. You should. Go that way. Yes. Okay. Sweet. Don't care how pissed off it Let's is. move. Get the hell Six turns. Okay. Let's exit turn based and corral you this way. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Come back. Come back. Come back. Oh, no. Let's make it interesting, eh? Come on, come on. That way, that way, that way, that way. Okay. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, go, 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 go. Yeah! All right. That's the game done. Come here. Chicken chase extraordinaire. Victor is inspired. Look here! That thing works even better in a chicken! Reckon we won't eat it after all. Hmm. Hand over my winnings. Pardon? Your what? Think you misunderstood, mate. What? Ain't no winnings, cause only a goblin can win chicken chase. You didn't tell Says me that. So in the rules. As the symbol glows, 
power courses through you. Authority. Mm. Ah. Guardian says too. All right, Victor's given in. It's like, I won fair and square. This is going to be a, a slight character arc moment. Victor has been beaten and stabbed, run through the mud. He's put off the Illithid for several days now. And this, he's at the end of his rope. He's going to give in just this once. He won fair and square the first Join time. The dark side. The first time he's done something fair and square and won without cheating, without any spells, without any help from his allies, and you're taking it away. You're a... you're a true soul. Here, it were only a bit of fun. All yours. Your mind lurches, reeling suddenly as if bitten. bitten? Just, just a bit of fun. No disrespect, men. Hmm. Now I want to take the Albert. Hey, no more games today, true soul. We ain't worthy. What with the absolute on your side and all. I'll be taking the Albert too. Right, go on, men. Fat <gasps> bird's yours. Don't need the asshole. Ha ha ha! Pet Albert? Ha! Who? Ha! Pet Albert? Hello. Poor creature. I hope we can follow my scent back to camp. Whoop, there it goes. Oh my gosh, you're so fast. Do we have a pet owlbear now? Who? Huh? Who? Who? Worth the compromise of your ethics? Absolutely, 100%. Where? 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 More pets. We're, we're slowly gathering more and more pets. Oh, where is it? Where? Where, where, where? Where? I want to see the boy. Or the girl. Whatever, whatever they are. Scratch. Can you sniff them out? Oh, oh, no, that's just Scratch. Where? Where's the owlbear? I want to see it. I want to see the baby. Oh. Maybe a long rest? Yeah, all right. Well, not long rest right now, because I got stuff to do. I got stuff I got to do, but... That, that tells me that it's, we're going to see it at camp. Perhaps. Hopefully. Oh, we got a pet owlbear. Yay. It's adorable. Pet scratches, you're right. I need to pet scratches. Or scratch, rather. Scratch. What the bird doing? It's a chicken, first of all. Hope you're keeping well, friend. Pet him. Yeah. How's the game so far? The, the game's great. Did you get the mod off Nexus? Yes, but it has to be installed manually. Uh, mod manager, as far as I know, does not work with it. I think. Okay, so Halson is probably not in here, right? Find the night song. Open the door. I don't know what the night song is. Is that the thing that um, Shadow Heart's looking for, maybe? Here, I need to sell you some stuff. Need something else? Hand crossbow plus one. I'll sell some of these rings. And these notes. Not the dwarven poem, though. Not the bucket. The bones. The skull. Aloe. Uh, bloodstone. Do, 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 do. Ever seeing eye. No. What is that? Is that like a talisman? Ch 
charm. Okay. Cheese. Yeah, it's rotten. Longbow. Studded leather. We'll keep one, because I like how it looks. Constitution saving throws. Maybe give that to Gale. What is that? Medium armor. Never mind. Gale won't be able to wear it. Hmm, what do you got? What do you got? What do you got? Chainmail plus one. It's heavy armor. Chain mail. Oh, just regular old chain mail. Gust of wind. Hunter's dagger. On hit, the target must succeed to DC 13 or become ruptured. Take one, D one to four piercing damage when moving. Each time you move. Ooh. 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 It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Hmm, hmm. Hide armor plus one, chain shirt plus one. Great axe plus one. Scale mail plus one. Hmm. Disadvantage on stealth. That's okay, I haven't been stealthing really. You take one less slashing damage. It's pretty good, pretty good. What is my thing? My bonus, I wonder. Hold on, can I check? No. Not here. Trap disarming tools could be useful. I've got eight of I've got five. Five is good. Potions. Definitely want potions. Potions are good. Always good. And thieves tools are always good. I'll get the disarming kit. Ring mail, that's heavy. That crossbow. Mace plus one. Scroll of haste. Haste could be good. Concentration though. Scroll of slow. Can't do much and are easier to hit. In what way? I would like you to use game mechanics as a actual description as to what it does. Rope. Mirror image, already have that. Sword of justice, tears protection, okay. It's a great sword, great axe. I think I sold this to them actually. Okay, I think this is good. Let's sell some stuff. Sell this and this and this and this and this. And, uh, and this. This and this. Nope. Keep the. Yeah, no. Sell that. Got anything? Sell that. Hmm. That's my impression of a. <laughs> <laughs> of a phone. Mm. Yeah, we, we're not really throwing these daggers, so we'll sell them. And... Yeah, sell that. Alright. Pleasure. Speaking of game mechanics, I want to say that I enjoyed 5e campaign you're running. You've set oh. foot in a restricted area. Oh. A swift exit may be in order. I didn't mean You've to... set foot in a restricted area. I'll take this way. Trying to leave, jeez. No! It seems the rules have not changed in your absence. You're still trespassing. Um, try and... You've re-entering a forbidden area. Apparently it's becoming rather tiresome. Uh, sh it's a bit glitchy here, apparently. Oh, jeez. 
Oh, man. Come on, game. You have outstayed your already. In her name. No, you stop. Set foot in a restricted area. Okay. You've set foot in a restricted. Stop, please, game. No time to dally. Okay. Jeez. Where am I needed? Checking things out. There's no time to waste. Wanna dance? While I'm at the it. The pathing, I swear. Assume nothing. Salutations. I just wanted to buy some stuff. A lot on my mind and, well, in it. Yeesh. Okay. Well, this is where we were brought before we were being, I don't know, threatened to be killed. Actually, can I just... Yeah, I have the key to it, actually. Sweet. Defiled Temple. All right. Scroll of Mephit's Arrow. I had a bag of holding. Ooh, hello. Ooh. Set foot in a restricted area. A swift exit may be in order. Try to convince them you belong here. Persuasion. Here we go. Advantage. Guidance. Come on! Yeah! Congratulations, you've convinced them to give you access. Now what? Hmm, talk to them maybe? For discussion. Friends. You! Not supposed to be here! Leave! Okay. Um... Is there any prisoners back here? Cracked stones. Hmm. Someone's reported a theft in this area. Oh. It seems you're the likely culprit. What will you do? Oh, hand over the stolen items. What stolen items? You return the loot before they can question you further. What have I stolen? What did I steal? The scroll? Oh, okay. Okay, let's try something. Let's march. Assume nothing. What's down here? These things have stayed I'm gonna quick save. Gail, you know what to do. Let's get going. Okay, and jump. Uh, jump down there. Wee. Spider eggs! Ah! Good! Hmm. Alright, let's explore. Yes, Whoa. my desire. Closer, my sweet. I will wrap you. Hmm. You, you should eat a goblin instead. They're delicious. Nice. Delicious. Kill I it. do not know. Kill it with fire. Cool and sharp. Yes. Bindable and wrappable and biteable. Yes. You must open the door. I can wreck so much havoc here. Hmm. 
Hmm. And you know what? Poor arachnophobes. Considering how much trouble these goblins are causing, I just might. Would you ever consider doing a run with other YouTubers? Frost, Absolutely. perhaps? Uh, Frost, if he's interested. Uh, but other friends, absolutely. All right, here we go. I mean, these goblins are evil, right? So... Then I can crack that open. Boy, that stays closed. The spiders ain't exactly time. Okay. You're not going to question how I'm in here? All right. In that case, what if, let's see, minor illusion over here, and then we lockpick this. Hmm. The spiders aren't exactly tight. I need you to look away. So that I can sneak. Turn base mode. There we go. Cat. Cat. Uh, boop, boop, boop. Yeah. They keep looking at me. No time to rest. Cave mouth. So that's where I came from. Your spiders just climb up. How much farther can I go? Here, I'm gonna separate myself. I'm gonna come over here. I'm gonna put an illusion over here. Come on, get distracted. Not enough space there. Hmm. Get distracted. It's because they see me. Wait a minute. I know exactly what I should do. There we are. Yes. Okay. No. Let's try again. We have more thieves tools. We can keep block picking this. Yes. Be free, my minions. Go. <laughs> they look hungry. Oh my god. Oh my god. The only good spider is one that's on my side. All right, let's get the heck out of here. See ya. Man, that's crazy, huh? Someone let the spiders out. Oh, that's nuts. Well, good luck, guys. <laughs> See you later. So then what is over here? Open the door. I did, though. Did I? I don't think I did. Who let the spiders out? I don't know. Someone. That's crazy. Okay, so the door is this way. I never, I already went through it though. Here 
goes nothing. I went through it and then find the night song. Okay, it's that way. So I go down here. Oh, do I have Gale cast yet another oh, one? Magic touch. I'm using a lot of spell slots. Looking ahead. How much could this possibly hurt? Let's be real. Hold on. Uh, Karlak, you're the one. Oh, I love you. You're the one who's good at jumping. Minus 16 HP. Okay, yeah, no, that's a lot. That's quite a bit. All right, it's worth one more spell slot, I think. No one stopped me yet. Jump, jump her. They're still fighting. These boots have seen everything. So, but I just went this way. The night song is not here. Maybe that's part of the quest, is realizing the night song's not here. Oh no, the spiders are dead! Let's have a look. Oh man. Oh well, well they did wreck some havoc. While they were here, I guess. Unless the night song, hold on. Let me see what the night song actually is. We discovered a clue about the night song, a poem about Salune, Salune that mentions a door under the temple. What is hidden beneath the goblin camp? Hmm. This is Saloon and not Salune. What what is hidden underneath the goblin camp? Here we go. Come on. There we go. And this is where it says Unless there's more that I cannot see or cannot find. Hmm. This way? No. It's on this map. But where? Oh, that way. Oh, I see. I should have. Uh, I should have went that way. objectives give elevation. I see. Okay, I'm dumb. I just wasted Gale's spell slot. Whoopsie. All's well that ends. Not as bad as it could have. Hold on. You can use some arcane recovery, right? Yeah. There we go. There we go. Um, first level. Yep. And let's do another first level. There we go. Not too bad. What to do? The urge to back seat was strong. Well, I thank you for not doing so. I appreciate the restraint. It's much appreciated. I'd rather figure it out myself, and hey, it'll help me feel that, that it's my own fault if I miss it, not yours. I, my progress is not your responsibility, chat. Oh, the door's open. Oh, God. Uh, oh, oh, because they went to fight the spiders. The spiders. Spider! There we go. It's that way. I was on the wrong side. Spider! Honey, in your corner, you are back in normal. Ain't no friend, I know it's spider! Blessed distraction. No, they're still here. Okay, I thought this door was that other one that was open. I was mistaken. Is this your first playthrough? Yes, it is. Yeah, I just thought like this room was it, and then 
But no, there's more. This way. I just didn't look. Here we are. Progress, finally. That might be worth a look. Ooh. Rocky oh, crevice. Fit in there. Damn it. Wait. 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 Ah, it's probably fine, I think. That's just the way out. Okay. I did have that shape changing thing from uh, Divinity that allows me to change shape, but I don't need to do that. Oh, the pains of not being a small character. <gasps> a puzzle. A puzzle. We're doomed. <laughs> Okay. So, uh huh. So perhaps I want. There's four, so I want the inside. I want the inside to be all black. So, like that. And then, like this. And then like this, and then like this, and there we go. No? Hmm. Unless I want it all on the outside. No, but there's only four black ones. So I presume they'd have to be on the inside. Hmm, 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 hmm. It's like these candles. Hmm. I also have dancing lights. Is that going to do anything? Dancing lights, dancing lights. Something over there. Something over there. A lever. Ha ha. Good catch, Gale. Locked. Hmm. Is this per? Could this perhaps also be a lever? No. Okay, let's move the dancing lights, shall we? Let's move it over here. Okay, so lights beaming down from above onto this one. Let's, let's get rid of that. So, maybe it's not what I'm thinking. We move that over there. Move this over here. Maybe I need all four sides to be lit up? Like that? For it to light up? No. Hmm. What if, Gale, you cast light? You have light, right? Or is it Shadow Heart? You've got light, right? Light. Better get to it. Don't know why that would help, but it's lit now. <laughs> hmm. Maybe this light one needs to be all light. Let me try that. And then... Maybe this one needs to be all dark? Nope. Okay, time to swap it around. This one is going to be all dark, and this one's going to be all light. We're doing science. Making science. Making science. Making science. 
Making science, making science. Wish I could make it go the other way. Uh, Joop. Hey! This goes very far down. We'll have to go in to see the bottom. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Nice. I'm smart. Oh, what is this? Darkness? Advanced darkness? Logbook of sendings. Who's been sending? Marked as reference material for the temple archive, this logbook contains transcripts of magical sendings from the temple to the depths below. This record seems to be exchanging dates from uh, near the temple's foundation. Uh, enough foolishness, a new temple with settlers to guide, and you'd rather scrabble in the dark below, where clerics of Salune act like it. Wow, that's 24, yeah, wow. The lady lights the way. Oh, wait, no, Jarus. That's 25, that's full 25 words. Wow, that's so accurate, I love this. Morna, the lady lights the way. What is this? under dark but a path her light hasn't touched yet come we can debate theology in the new chapel that's 27 boo new chapel those materials were meant for the temple proper not your playground down there what am i to tell the house of the moon hmm tell them to start packing maybe it's one of those like special sendings where it's not limited there are caverns down here to dwarf the inner cathedral. The builders are almost done, and so we go deeper. Enough initiate. The Underdark is no place for games. Those are novices with you, not silver stars. Return immediately. Initiates, don't ignore me. I know you uh, took ample components for ascending. Respond. Jarus, respond. M, fortified what we can. Awards won't last. Seal the tunnel and do not follow. You are right. This place belongs to them. Charis, hold fast. Whatever it is, I'm sending. Oh, it's the Underdark. No, no more death. Ordered novices to collapse tunnel. You'd be proud of them. Forgive me. We only meant to spread her light. This is a path to the Underdark. Ooh. Ooh. Into the Underdark. Damn, it goes down far. Wow. So in uh, in early access, I one of their previews, they showed you that there was a path to the Underdark that you could just so jump down. About down here? I'd much rather be outside with the sun on my skin. The infamous Underdark. Don't worry of the dangers you can see. Worry of the dangers you can't. Mm. I've rarely had to venture this far below the surface. Rare is the underbeast that takes to the sun. Hmm. So, the Underdark is like a second layer underneath Faerun, right? It's not just a deep cave. It's like a second Earth. I never really understood what the Underdark was, because I thought it was another dimension, but it's been described to me. It's a whole ecosystem. Mmm, interesting. You know, for all the time I've spent lurking in the shadows, I've never ventured into the Underdark before. Me neither. Hardly a luxurious setting, but it definitely has its upsides for a vampire. Think Hollow Earth? Interesting. Or undersides, because it's... Uh, you know what I mean. <laughs> So, there's a monster hunter after you. So it would seem. Hopefully he bumps into some gnolls while stumbling around at night, and that's the last we hear from him. Hmm, hopefully. But why was he hunting you? What did you do? I didn't do anything. I was kidnapped, just like you. It seems Cazador wants me back. Hmm. And who is Cazador exactly? Cazador Tsar is a vampire lord in Baldur's Gate, the patriarch of his coven and a monster obsessed with power. He turned me nearly 200 years ago. I became his spawn. 
and he became my tormentor. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. You're sure Cazador was behind this? It was him, I'm sure. Only he would know to send the girl after me. It was a group of girl that attacked me that night in Baldur's Gate. I would have died had Cazador not appeared and saved me. Hmm. Hmm. You can't hold every girl responsible for what happened to you. I think you'll find I can. And there's nothing your bleeding heart can do to change my mind. Hmm. Well, he appeared just when you needed him. Sounds convenient. Maybe. Maybe he was just drawn to the smell of the blood. The point is, I have... History with these barbarians. Cazador's sending a message. He's reminding me of his power. Even in the middle of nowhere, you can reach me. And he wants me back. Hmm. But why, ca why capture you? Why not just kill you? Maybe he wants to make an example of me. To show what happens to runaways. Or maybe he thinks death is too good for me. Hmm. Well, sounds like he won't uh, let you go easily. Should I be concerned? Concerned? Do you know the power a vampire lord possesses? I feel like you're about to tell me. Ship, turn into mist, call walls to do his bidding, shrug off blows like they're nothing. He could walk into our camp tonight and kill you with his bare hands. And you'd be lucky if death was the worst thing that happened to you. Hmm. All right. What do you suggest? First, we have to... Uh, uh, I don't know. Well, if we kill his lackeys, he'll just send more. We just have to be vigilant, keep our wits about us, and kill any monster hunters on sight. We can probably make an exception for Will. Probably. Hmm. All right. Can you believe this is my first time in the Underdog? The world is so big! The Underdark has a certain menacing beauty to it. Though I'll be happier admiring it from a safe distance. Your bard pretty, thank you. I was wondering about that mighty lord you told me about in your story. Ah, yes. Carsus. Carsus was perhaps the most powerful wizard that ever lived child who would be a god the elves called him and he tried with a spell of his own devising he endeavored to usurp in one fell swoop the power of the goddess of magic mistril she was called then imagine what it must have felt like to be a god to know yourself to be untouchable to be mistaken as Carsus aimed his spell at her she began to unravel and with her the entire weave. Too late did he realize what he had unleashed. It would have been the end of everything had not Mistral sacrificed herself. The goddess of magic is all magic. By dying, the entire weave was lost and the spell that challenged a god failed. It was the end of Mistral, the end of Carsus, and the end of an entire civilization. Wow. As the child who would be a god was turned to stone, his empire came crashing down around him. The floating cities of Netheril were no more. An event that came to be known as Carsus's folly. So he almost deleted magic. Hmm. So, at that moment in time, all magic was gone. For a spell. Mistral was reborn as Mistra. Upon her return, the weave returned with her. Now, so many centuries later, I try to follow in the footsteps of Carsus. Not to destroy Mistra, but to prove my love for her. I tried to control only a fraction of the magic that was unleashed that fateful day. I merely sought to return one tiny diamond to an imperfect crown. Gale's folly, one might call it. Hmm. History. Repetition. It's the way things go. Hmm. If you ever feel Nether magic overtaking you, what will you do? 
If it should ever come to that, if I ever know I am no longer able to stop it, I will do anything I can to ensure no one but me pays for my mistakes. I will find the remotest place on the surface of Faerun, or perhaps far below in the depths of the Underdark. I will await that death alone. Aw, Gail. I promise I will not betray your trust. You kept me by your side despite the menace that I am. If worse comes to worst, I will be long gone before the curtain falls. Hmm. I love you, Gale. You're the best. The Underdark. As if we didn't face enough dangers back up on the surface. Hmm. All right. Let's explore. So presumably this is where I'll find uh, what I'm looking for, hopefully. Not Halson. I am far no, beyond Halson house. now. I came here for Halson. Once I find a waypoint, I think I'm gonna tr go back up, look for Halson in the goblin camp, because that's what it keeps saying he's at. I'm just not so sure. You know? Ray of Sickness. Don't mind if I do. What is going on? What's going on out there? Someone fighting that I can't see? Hmm. Oh, this door. Portcullis. Ah, this portcullis is, uh, it doesn't, unless it goes down. Here, let's lockpick it. Don't keep me out. Boop. Need a 20. Nice. Unless it goes down. Yeah, okay. A minotaur? What the fuck? Okay. Scary things down here in the dark. Oh my gosh! Ow, 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 ow! Leave, leave, leave! No, 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 no! Okay, 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 I get it, 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 I get it. That nearly ended me. Oh. Gail's dead. Hmm. Now we know what happened to the Minotaur. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> well then. Bum 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 ba da 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 da. He sure did raise his red flag like not even five minutes ago. <laughs> he indeed did die. It was a death flag. Yes. Oh no, this is all the way back. Okay, well then, um... Oh, this is so far back though. Okay, well... Oh, I gotta do all that again. Well, I'm, uh... It's been... Nearly six hours. I think uh, I'm gonna get back to where I was off stream. Um... But I think this is a good place to call it. At least we know the steps now, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna call the stream here, maybe raid somebody. Thank you guys for joining me. Uh, Omega, the Omega Protocol, the raid charity thing that I've been doing, that I did like a few months ago, will be coming back very, very soon, like within the next week. And I will announce on YouTube and Blue Sky when I start that and you will, I'll put on a stream schedule so that you will know each day that I'm streaming and what I'll be doing on that day of streaming. But until then, I will see you guys some other time. Who shall we raid? Let's raid Miss Lala TV. They're playing Fallout 4, and I really like their VTuber model. Uh, unless they're calling their stream here. Hold on. 
But yes, I was trying to. I was. I was gonna start taking orders, but then I realized I did. Uh, I. I seem to have lost my pen and pad at the moment. But you know, you're more than welcome to order. I just can't live. I. I, I just can't guarantee. All right, we're gonna rate her. So she's a. She's a diner, like a diner VTuber. I really like her model and her style. But. She gonna call her stream. I love my. Okay, we're gonna raid her. Hopefully she's not gonna end stream soon. But if she is, no big deal. Miss Lala VT. And what shall our raid message be? What do you think? Something relevant to today's session. Diner as in food? Yeah. What shall our raid message be? Don't go to the Underdark. Yeah, don't go, don't go to the Underdark. Everybody tell, warn her, don't go to the Underdark. All right. Thank you, everybody. I will see you next week for more Baldur's Gate. Bye.